Move on, will you? Go already. Hey, Get tough you guy. Guys. You got a death wish? Because I'll take you out. Oh. It's Stay far away from me, you hear? What's up, everyone? This is Arnaldo, aka Mad Dog, and this is going to be the real episode 132. Of GG's a mouthful podcast. And this is David Dream Twister inviting you to listen to GG. Yes, thank you. Well, he already introduced himself. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Sir, what is up and how are you enjoying that beer? Oh, man. What are we having, first of all? It's called Golden Monkey. Golden Monkey. Yes. I've had Golden Monkey You've before. Had Golden Monkey, yes. I had the Golden Monkey. Uh, the Golden Monkey is grabbing me. I don't know what it is about it, but I feel like. I, it's it's like stronger and not only in the uh not only at like alcohol level uh because it is yeah because it is <laughs> yeah what is it 9.6 percent jesus man why are you so, trying to get me drunk i'm gonna <laughs> yes <laughs> for whatever reason yeah. <laughs> what the hell are you trying to do <laughs> trying to... <laughs> uh to be fair i'm having one myself and i'm way ahead of you sir so i'm gonna call you a lightweight and no uh, <laughs> uh i'm gonna call you you started right at dinner <laughs> and we finished dinner, we had a conversation, uh, <laughs> we rested, and now we're doing the podcast. Yeah, and no, you're still in it. Yeah, well, I, it is 9.6%. I just started. <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> salud. Salud, I'll sir. Say salud. Oh, there you go. There awesome. you go. Thank you so much, sir. Oh, I guess I should take a sip of that. Mm. Uh, Guys, if this is your first time listening to the show. Happy childhood. Thank you so Ooh. much for tuning in. Please go to goodgame.tech and join the conversation there. Also, if you're listening to this on iTunes, Google Play, or YouTube, please like, subscribe, and share the podcast with everyone. If this is the first time, I want to just kind of tell you what we do. We normally uh, go over what we've been up to and then go in through some news items and finally finish with our hot topic of the week. Well, you just spoiled the podcast. I sure did. No, nobody's going to listen. Spoilers. They skip ahead a little bit. Exactly. <laughs> they already know exactly what, <laughs> what it's holding. To be fair, I've been including time codes. And so that people can just jump to a section if they want to just jump oh, to a section. I don't know if nice. you noticed that. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. I didn't know that you were doing time cards. Yes. I've been doing time cards. Right, so, cool. so that's a little extra. That entails listening to the whole thing again. The sort of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Since I'm already that's listening work. to it for the most part, editing, <laughs> uh, it, it helps out. I did want to, uh, before we start the show, I did want to just kind of say, not, not, not that I want to get political or anything like that, because we really don't want to be political on this podcast, obviously. However, I do think it's important to say we are four days away, guys, from elections, uh, election day. Please go out and vote. Get it's extremely ass. important to do. Uh, it is our right and also our duty uh, to do it. So I love, I love a quote that you, uh, that you posted. I, I don't know the name to attribute it to, to who it was, but it was somewhere around the lines of not voting is not a protest. It's a surrender. It's yes, a yeah. surrender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I love that. It's it's true. It's true. I've been, uh, super, super I, took, uh, I took literally, let me see, it was on a Saturday, two Saturdays ago. My wife and I, we sat down, we got a sample ballot and all that, mm. and we went through every person that's been, you know, essentially uh, a candidate to, to be elected. Every amendment we went to see everything. We basically took about four hours to go online, look up who these and people I, now are. Now you're discouraging people from the, doing. I mean, that. don't get me wrong. Vote for you know, vote for what you what you want to do, but you sh- you should do your homework. No, no, you, you should do, you make know, informed yeah. decisions. To be fair, right, right. it's been for a while. Well, yeah. The reason I took four hours on that one day was like, honey, we got to do this now because we did the mail in. Yeah. So I was like, we got to do it now. You know yeah. what I mean? So we can we can do everything. And for the most part, we kind of knew a lot of the a lot of the candidates anyway. Yeah. So it wasn't. Wasn't too big of a, a, a you know of a struggle. Yeah. The amendments, on the other hand, they're a little tricky with those. <laughs> yeah, now, some of the language I noticed is like, yeah. okay, the, the 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 popular crowd yeah. <laughs> just gonna yeah, just yeah. say they're not gonna understand the language that is being used here, and there and therefore they're the, just gonna be like. A B C yeah. D E F G. Okay, yeah. this one. Yes or no? Nah, just go no. To be fair, oh, though. Oh yes, because yes is positive. There, yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> there are plenty of websites out there that kind of uh, break down what you, what each of the things do. So do look at those, mm-hmm. and uh, and definitely just go vote. Uh, so I don't. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. But we are going to jump into what we have been up to, 
Mr. Santos. Oh? I heard some interesting news just about five minutes ago. <laughs> oh, man. So oh. I'm going to throw the ball into your court because I'm going to spend quite some time on Red Dead when I finally come back. Around. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, so stay stay tuned for the Red Dead, min, uh, Red Dead <laughs> hour. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll try not to do an hour. <laughs> 40 minutes stops. I got I, I, no, I, I, what I what I got. It, it, it's, it's kind of great. It, it looks long. I have to write it down. because Good. 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 Uh, Sometimes you forget. Sometimes, yeah. yeah, sometimes I, yeah, that happens a lot. When I'm trying to, when I'm listening to the podcast again, I'm like, oh man, I forgot to mention about. Oh, well, hey, we're 40 years me. old, dude. It's well, like, I mean, you can't patch them. Yeah. No, you can't. You well, can't I guess technically you could, <laughs> but, you know, do you really want to? <laughs> All right. So in reality, this is version 1.132. <laughs> it could be. All right. So, uh, so no, no, a, c- a couple of things. Uh, I did watch uh, some movies. I want to start with the movies. Okay. I'll get it out, uh, out of the way because I, did watch Venom. You know, oh, I was saving, snap. Okay. I, I, I was trying to save that one, even though I posted it and I watched it. But Did you? I didn't even notice. Yeah, okay. it's there. Uh, it, it, How unfriendly of you. I know, Venom. right? I'm sorry. <laughs> and now I know who's blocking me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Which, fair. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, no, um, it, 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 Venom. Where do we begin? Okay, where do we begin? It's not a terrible movie. It's not a great movie either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my wife liked it a hell of a lot more than I did. Okay, I believe she scored it at eight a, uh, out of ten. That's a, I mean, on a, I guess on most scales, that's a great. Yeah, maybe? that's yeah. a great. Okay. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. I started scoring it at a five, but then she made some arguments and it made me think and be like, okay, maybe I am being a little unfair and maybe I'm not in touch a hundred percent with the. You know, with this character, mm-hmm. uh, at least in in the context of where I know this character coming from, being disconnected as a character by itself, mm-hmm. I didn't care for uh, much. But Meaning I can't say that having... it was a, not an entertaining movie, you okay. know, either. Okay. So I'll probably give it a six. You know, uh, you know, out of ten, which is okay. Which is exactly it's like okay, I'll. I'll Amazon Prime it when it comes okay, out. You know, fair enough. Yeah. Netflix, it, whatever. <laughs> the, like I was saying, that the major thing for me was seeing this character. Uh, f- first of all, the, the guy that plays um, what's his name? Venom. No. Oh. The the host. The host. Oh, uh, what do you mean? No, the guy, the the, the, re- the regular dude, not. What oh, oh, the, the, to Venom. yeah. Uh, um, the actor is Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Uh, well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I was trying to remember it, the, the the character name in itself. Oh, but I forgot. He's likable. Yeah. I thought when I was I, I came in on this on after seeing the trailer, I came in on this movie thinking that I was not gonna like him a lot. It was gonna be one of those situations I like the first time I saw like when I saw Doctor Strange at the beginning, I was like, oh, I don't know about this character and you know, about this. But then I really ended up liking him. Yeah. Okay. Eddie Brock. I, Eddie Brock. Yes. Thank you. Uh, so I I ended up liking his character, like the you know everything he, he played. It was very uh, it was very like how, how, how to describe. It? I like the fact that they were going for not so young characters. Okay. You know, yeah. The the, the, the heroes seasoned don't have to be like yeah. kids. Exactly, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. They're you know they're seasoned. You know, and uh, even the, the 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 female lead. You know, the the choice is is not the typical. You know, it's not. An I'm gonna, year I'm gonna old, put yeah, yeah. Or, or or I'm gonna put a, a Scarlett Johansson or, or that level of you know bombshell or anything like that. Mm-hmm. You know, more like a pepper pot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, she's nice. She's, <laughs> no, I got you. I got you. <laughs> anyway, more like a pepper pot. Yeah, I like that. I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. like some pepper pot. We do. Hey, man, pepper pot <laughs> is nice. Yeah. yeah, she's nice. So, uh, so 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 I did like I, I did like that. I did not like Venom. The Venom, symbiote well, itself. The symbiote the cr- the itself, creature, yeah. yes, yes. Even though they show him, you know, being this badass creature, he seems to me very weak, okay. very wuss almost to a point. Wow, okay. Uh, very not like Venom. Very not like <laughs> Venom. Well, yeah. not in... How, how to say... Like, hmm... There is a... There is a, 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 a spark. If I'm allowed to say a, a part of his dialogue, Okay. All right. If I borrow this dialogue, you can you can you can skip forward thirty you know thirty seconds, 30 seconds yeah. if you like. A part of his of his dialogue is like, I'm like you. I I'm considered a loser on my planet, and I'm like like really. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you 
going for? So, so you, you are. <laughs> you're just a degenerate from your planet. No, you, yeah, no, you're you're like the you know, the nobody of your planet, you know, and you you know act and 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 are like such a badass and and stuff, and, and also the motives of of the antagonist, you know, to me, they were very sound, even though the ways to get to them were kind of immoral, you know, like. Okay. When you say the antagonist, no, no, the, 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 the villain. Let's, let's, let's say the villain. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the antagonist. Me, yeah, yeah, right, right. This is not Brock. This is another character. This is another character, okay, right, okay. right. Mm-hmm. But his his motives, to me, seem noble, which which goes along the lines of, oh, we like when the when villains I, when are the relatable, villain yeah. have a good, you know, have a good motive, even if if you don't agree with the motive, the fact the fact that they can convince they, they convince you that. That they have a reason, you know, it's not the, the destruction of the world, and then what? Yeah. You know, or the subjugation of mankind, and then what? You know, it's not <laughs> something stupid like that. Mm-hmm. It's actually pretty much the betterment of mankind for okay. intended purposes. I mean, again, his methods might not be what you would call... Like Thanos, essentially. Yeah. yeah it's I, like, I, well, I kind of understand what he means. But in a way, Perhaps exactly. Perhaps maybe not going this route, Exactly. <laughs> which, which almost had me... Almost rooting for him rather than than you know Venom and, and Eddie Brock and all that because it's like yes I understand why he's doing that if there was a person on this planet the, you know working towards that goal it will probably have my vote and I'm like, no 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 <laughs> wow. okay. it was it, like I will like I will like I will understand you know you know they are exploring planets uh, and uh, in search of. Uh, well, in general, better man of mankind. Let's mm, let's, okay. let's let's leave it at that. The 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 thing with the like I said, the the problem that I have is I also felt like it have a very slow start, you know, and I was kind of getting worried because I was like, okay, it, I I I I like setting up, you know, the 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 world and and. And the characters and all that. Well, you're taking a little bit too long here, and the movie's not that long. So it's a movie that is like an hour and a half. Wow. Or an hour and forty minutes, and it fell long because of that. Wow. <laughs> Even though the movie itself, it, it, you know, is not long. But again, not a terrible movie or anything like that. It's just not a movie that I will pay to, you know, to the movie, you know, to watch the movie theater. This was a, it's a no- painful price for us. Right. Right. This dollar was, theater, maybe. The dollar <laughs> theater. <laughs> <laughs> Red boxes, yeah, exactly. you know, or uh, no, uh, this was another fail. Uh, me and my, uh, my wife had uh, free tickets for AMC Theater. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this one, I blame Google for this one because I put AMC Theater and the stupid thing gives me a list of AMC Theaters and the first uh, the first one on the list is a, a fucking Regal Theater. <laughs> so okay. I drove there to realize that I cannot use the tickets. Wow. You know, the free tickets that I, that I have. So I ended up having to pay. And uh, it's that stupid thing that Google does where, you know, well, they're paying me ad revenue. Correct, so yeah. therefore, so I'm gonna just going to put them on, the, on mm-hmm. the front. Even though I'm specifically asking for AMC theater. Anyway. So, so, so yeah. So it, it, I, I realized this, this movie might be a little bit more enjoyable by other people. I also found that like there was not a lot of action, you know, or a lot of action that was impressive. From the trailer, I kind of, I could, I could have kind of almost guessed that from the trailer because yeah. the trailer it looks like there's a lot of setup just from the trailer alone, mm-hmm. and I only saw the very first one. Yeah, and it looked like there's a lot of setup, so it already sounds like it pretty much looks exactly what I yeah. kind of thought it was going to be. Yeah, so, and, yeah. and 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 also the like everybody or a lot of people were talking about the humor, of, mm-hmm. you know, of it, the the humor. Felt kind of dry, like there was nothing a lot. Yeah, you know, the, the, I mean, there was a couple of moments that you could chuckle a little bit, but it expected. how was your theater? I Did am, they chuckle? Yeah, a yeah. little bit. Yeah. You know, it was. I, I, at least I'm glad that they didn't go full time silly. Mm-hmm. You know, Marvel silly. Uh, maybe a little bit. There were parts where it was starting to cross a little bit, but it was nothing. Nothing too bad. This uh, we already saw. The, you already saw this movie, by the way. You might not know it, but you saw a better version of this movie. <laughs> When it was called, was it Cyborg? Cyborg? Cyborg. Or what was that movie that that I saw in the theater that I told you about? You saw it like recently. Oh, uh, I know what you're talking about. Um, Upgrade. 
Upgrade. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. So, so yeah. So, this upgrade, movie is is basically better, upgrade is a better Venom. It's, uh, upgrade, <laughs> upgrade is, is a better. very Venom. Yes, I, ab- <laughs> absolutely. If you want to see him, if you want to see the, the same concept done better, well, not the same concept, but you know, the idea of, oh, this guy is being controlled by something in his mind or whatever, whatever. And also the silliness of, Oh no, I'm fighting people, but I really don't want to fight them. Boom, boom. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to do that. Boom, boom. I'm, you know, cracking oh, skulls. And, I guess uh, that makes sense. Yeah. It, 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 it was done so much better in, in, uh, in upgrades. Not to mention, you know, upgrade, uh, like the ending and everything was fantastic. Mm-hmm. You know, over here, it is okay. It by the exactly numbers. Exactly like yeah. what do you expect. Exactly, exactly by the numbers. And, and, and also, like you could, like, oh man, it really, you could really feel that. This movie was probably being filmed as an R-rated movie, and then at some point they just like it cut, they cut everything. I mean, it looks so obvious, so obvious. Wow. <laughs> where where the cuts where the cuts were made that it was it was a little a little hurtful on on, you know, on that front. Okay. And my wife just walked into the room. I guess uh, she <laughs> she is the venom apologist. <laughs> So, honey, do you have some words to say that are not going to kill me? What did you just say about it? Uh, no, I was talking about the fact that it was uh, that, that it was an okay movie. Basically, I'm describing it as an okay movie. Well, it was actually a good movie. It was a good movie? I wouldn't All right. say it was a great movie, but it was a good movie. It's a good movie, and it's an easy four out of five. Uh, four out of yeah. five that's is like yeah. really, yeah. That's how really you said you gave it an eight. Well, that's the same yes, thing. Yeah, an eight, exactly. yeah. an eight, definitely. Uh, I don't give it a higher, um, how you say, score because of uh, the, the very beginning. It was kind of slow, like too slow for me for them to settle like the whole story. Mm-hmm. I think uh, they could have done better at the beginning of the movie. Otherwise, like it was awesome. It was action from. The time it started until the end. No, it was not because you just contradicted yourself. <laughs> no, 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 no. You contradicted I'm yourself. I'm contradicting myself. Uh-huh. I'm saying that those like first few minutes, which was like what 10, 15, it was kind of slow. I know they were taking their time to settle, you know, the story and all that. But once the action started, it was action until the end, ah, and it was see, good I mean, action. The, the effects were really good, and the story was really good as well. Yeah. So there you have it. You have uh, <laughs> an eight out of ten and a six out of ten. And a six out of ten. <laughs> I, I think you're being unfair. I st- I I stand. Well, I am very hard to please. I think you're really hard Evidently, to please, when definitely. it comes to movies, I mean, you guys. Guys, do not listen to him for an advice. <laughs> do not listen to him. Listen. He's very demanding, <laughs> and when it comes to a movie, he it's really really hard to please. <laughs> Let me tell you. And it's not like I like good he's movies. My husband. It's I love just... him, but he's the worst companion I can have when I go to the movie theater. <laughs> There you have it, guys. <laughs> I love you too, Pete. That's, Under the box. That's, pre- that's pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. It, it is. Oh, this goes unedited. Oh, this of course. Goes unedited. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> she's true. She does, she, she's almost like every time we watch a movie, like you can see, like I can see the look on her face, like. Did so? Did you like it? Like she's afraid to ask, and I'll be like, "Oh yeah, you know, I love it." Or, or, or if it's the, the problem with me is that it's not that I'm hard because it's not. I don't intend to, and we're gonna talk about <laughs> a, 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 an example in a moment. Uh, I don't intend to say that I watch the movies that are like considered. The you know the the classics or the great movies of you know. I, or the I'm Academy not saying Award that. winning exactly. Movies, yeah. It's not about that. To me is. Give me an interesting story that I haven't heard already. The, the the you know the Venom movie is your very very by the book typical hero you know hero movie. They say you're thinking you're you're going in thinking oh this is gonna be a little bit more anti hero. No, it sticks pretty much <laughs> to the formula of, of hero. you know of oh and this guy which works for this corporation. You could tell he's gonna be the back. I mean, come on. So, so there's and there's there's no surprises. There's no revelations. There's no the the moments. Yes, I will give it. There are actual moments. The problem is, I, I guess I'm old and jaded already to the point where those actions don't really impress me. Like I tell you, what a good action, you know, action movie is, and a movie I really enjoyed the action on a, a lot. Mm-hmm. John Wick. Okay. The fights on John Wick are John, phenomenal. True, but I would argue that John Wick 
is a standout in action. Like it yeah. literally is a standout well, yeah, action yeah, film. Yeah. And I like and, and a lot of action, other action films don't even live up to that. And I like yeah. that because like the action looks very real. Mm-hmm. It, it looks like you know he's not stretching hands and grabbing something and you know explosions and shit happening. Like I'm like I've seen that before already. Like mm-hmm. I'm the, and of course I, uh, this is a hero movie. So you, you are you know that that's what you expect. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, because you expect it, it's no longer like fantastic. You know, it's no longer like wow, this is crazy. Like hero movies, I feel like right now they have to do out there things to make to it stand to, out, to yeah. stand out. Like hey, like we had a perfect example uh, with the with the Last Avengers. You know, the, yeah. the things that happened there, even though at the beginning it was feeling like oh, you're typical one of those. But the things that happened there, it's like. Whoa! Wait, that's not normal. <laughs> that's true, not... but I, I I would also argue on that one. You needed all the other movies for this to true. happen. You yeah, know I mean? yeah. You couldn't just start with this movie because you'd be like, "What the hell's going on?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly, I mean? exactly. So, uh, Black Panther will be another one where Black it gives it, it gives it a, a, a you know a good you know a good flavor mm-hmm. you know and and it and it becomes interesting. I love Doctor Strange, but you know believe it or not, and I don't consider it to be like the best of, of them or anything like that. You know, I still love Winter Soldier more than you know any of those the other movies. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, so as you can see, when when you see something like that, and then you see Ant Man and the Wasp, like you saw, you know, which is it's pretty much it, it already has the formula by the book. You know what to expect, and unfortunately, that I like I'm not like, I'm not excited about that anymore. You know, that's why I hear this movie's coming. Like there was a trailer for Aquaman. You know, it's the next one, right? And I'm like, who cares? I'll, I'll <laughs> yeah. wait, you know. It is Aquaman. You know, even, and to be honest with you, even Captain Marvel, I'm like, I just want to know because I know she is a key person and a key, I don't know, component, the, or component yeah, yeah, of exactly. the of the of this uh, this, this megaverse. Just because of that, you know, if it wasn't for that, it would probably would have had its place, you know, along. You know, Black Panther, Ant Man. You know, movies that are great. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I can wait. You know, I'm not rushing to to the. It's funny because it doesn't happen to me with a lot of Star Wars movies, except Solo. <laughs> it happened with Solo, which I I did not care to watch. Uh, and then when I watched it, I was like, oh yeah, this is entertaining. I have fun it with it. Mm-hmm. I'm glad I didn't spend the money to go in the movie. You know, that's why it was entertaining. It's like, hey, no money spent here. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And maybe that's what it was with Venom. I'm not spending money. Therefore, I was already cheated. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this movie. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, so yeah, it's, hey, if you like your movies, you're, you're going to like yeah. it. It's, it's Just still, know, it's still you watchable. already know what you're getting. So. Yeah, it's, it's still watchable. Just, yeah, exactly. And then, I watched uh, yesterday uh, a much older film that came out in 2007, I want to say, uh, which is the number 23. Well, uh, yes. Uh, a Jim Carrey classic. It was a, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's a Jim Carrey movie. It's not a comedy, but it might, <laughs> it might have some comedy accidentally. <laughs> 2007, yes. 2007, yeah, 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 yeah. So they describe it as a psychological horror horror thriller. Mm-hmm. There, I don't think there's anything horror. If I'm thinking in the sense of horror as the thing that scared you, something like that, no, none of that. It is more like a like a suspense film, you know. Okay. A little bit of a thriller. It's done by uh, Joel Schumacher, which I was like, that name sounds familiar. And yes. then I remember the oh, worst Batman. The worst <laughs> Batman. Yeah. yeah, Batman Forever. You know, was actually that. Yeah, Batman Forever. I, I'm also an apologist for that one, but <laughs> Batman and Robin. I think Batman Forever was the one that he he he, he was did the both. One. Oh, he did both. Yeah, Batman oh, Forever shit. and Batman. Yeah. Robin. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So he also did the Lost Boys. Yes. And back time, when he was good. <laughs> a Time to Kill. Another good one. Yes. And uh, Phone Booth, <laughs> which uh, is a, another one, one, of the one. Mo- one of the most yeah. recent ones. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and, and I understand some of this. I wouldn't say all of them, but some of these movies specializes in hey low budget, but Good return, you know. You right. you get you get a you mm-hmm. get a good story. So this one I would describe sort of like that. It's your you know low budgety psychological industry. thriller. It, yeah, yeah. It, it 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 is called on that uh, yeah, on that front. Uh, it has to do what is it that they call it? Uh, the 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 the, the twenty three enigma basically. Mm-hmm. The 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 twenty three enigma uh, where it comes from was 
all things they say all things happen in five or are divisible by or are multiples of five or are somehow directly or indirectly appro- uh, appropriate to five. Okay. So you wonder, well, then what, why does five have to do with three? Well, two plus, uh, two plus two three plus, yeah. equals five. five yeah. So it, it's that sense of using that number and seeing it, becoming obsessed, seeing it everywhere and thinking that that number, that, that, that it's number a sign for something. Some yeah. symbol. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm going to tell you right now, what is it? This this movie is not great. <laughs> I'll tell you off the front. This movie is That's do not amazing. expect. This is this is not Academy Award. This is not gonna be a, you know your thriller. This is not the Sixth Sense or freaking uh, I don't know. It, it's not that. But I tell you what I really like about it and what what he had taught me that that I like in, you know uh, in, in my movies in in general. Uh, <laughs> to compare when I say it's not great, <laughs> <laughs> it sits right now at an outstanding 8% on Rotten Tomatoes. Wow. <laughs> on wow. Rotten Tomatoes. Where they ask, It Follows sits at a very cozy 97%. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> th- Thank you for what? Thank that you. That doesn't say anything. Oh, that says a because lot, my friend. If, if I, oh, yeah. It does <laughs> say a lot. I'll tell you what it says. It says that I literally will stop seeing reviews of Rotten Tomatoes <laughs> to determine the type of movies that I should be watching. Because... Nine out of ten times is the the ninety per, the ninety percent with its exceptions, of course, of course. But usually it's just the hot fru fru garbage <laughs> that that they just call art, and you're supposed to have the hive mind to be able to uh, to appreciate, not to understand, because they don't make sense. It's they just to appreciate to appreciate. Them. <laughs> you know, they 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 have this explanation. So. So none of that. You not you don't have to break your head on this one. Even though you will think, well, it's numerology is gonna, you know, this is gonna be like very, like you're gonna be thinking a lot. No, this movie spells it out real clear for At you. At eight percent, I don't think I'm gonna be thinking much. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just saying. It is. It 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 has a beginning. It ha- it has a proper setup. It has its middle, and it has an end, a proper end that wraps everything up. If I were to tell you a story. Uh, I'm sure you will appreciate me not cutting the story in the middle. Be like, imagínate. You know? <laughs> <laughs> be like, you know, and then, you know, they came in and they had guns and my cousin had, you know, a knife and then, imagínate. <laughs> and do you, you, you <laughs> make yeah. your own conclusion? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> and you know what happened. I'm going to tell you how my cousin was able to jump through his way out of it <laughs> on this arm, everybody. No, no. So, so, so 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 that's what it wraps up everything to the point that there is there there are no strings attached. There's there's no there's no doubt. And I'm not saying the movie cannot have like a you know something wraps up mm-hmm. uh, and, and but still have a cliffhanger on something. I'm not saying that because a lot of Marvel movies do that when you when you think about it. I don't I don't know why I said Marvel movies, but that's the first <laughs> thing that came to mind. But it, no, but it's true. It, it happens. About In Marvel, is <laughs> it's usually is the singer at the end. You know. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, the singer is right. The singer, yeah. So, so number twenty three, eight percent. So Rotten number twenty three, it, and highly recommended. And, I, and, and it's a good. No, 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 no. Honestly, it's it's not a movie that I okay. would say you should you should watch it. Honestly, you should watch it. I actually want to watch. It. I never. I, I know of it. I've always known of it. Mm-hmm. And not that I went with the critical review of it, but no. nothing about it ever actually made me go. Mm, I need to see this movie. Yeah. So yeah. I never saw it. However. I will watch it just for you. <laughs> no, don't do it for me. For you. Do it because you. And no, no, no. And and don't be, don't be, don't be get wrong. You know what I'm saying? I will give it its fair due. I'm not mm. just gonna pick on it just because you 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 decide to shit on the movies. I, I, not pick, I do not. Sh- you know that. You <laughs> I know. know. I know. You I'm know just, that. I'm just I, I really like having in the woods. The, you recommended that one, and I speak highly of it. True, even true. To <laughs> to the chagrin of my wife, who did not like it. <laughs> But, I still speak very highly of it. But I will give it its fair due. I, yeah, fair uh, shake. <laughs> uh, I, my, my, my wife uh, also liked it. The know, number 23. The number, you know, the, the number 23. Yeah, yeah. It, it, was, it is an entertaining tale. Okay. You know, and it's... Had a, it, it's I like, to, say, to say more will be to spoil it. it, it since it's an old movie, uh, I was ready to not spoil it completely, but say a little bit more of 
the plot and you know a, a little bit more into the plot. Mm-hmm. But since you haven't seen it, it'll be good to have you know your impressions. And no, I don't expect you to be like giving any high praise or anything like that. If anything, if if you could go like, yeah, it was entertaining. <laughs> Okay. My job is done. Yeah. You know, it's hey, I deliver. What you I watch something, ent- you know, entertaining. I didn't give you a hot garbage. This is not <laughs> Jupiter Rising. <laughs> Jupiter Rising. Jupiter, Jupiter Rising. Oh, oh my goodness. God! That, yeah. I I will still go on record saying that I warned you not to go see that movie. Like, <laughs> you did. Don't absolutely do it. <laughs> by the trailer. You saw the trailer. You saw something. You were like, no, you shouldn't watch. It. And I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> he has Mila Kunis in it, and it's sci-fi. What else do you want? <laughs> That's the dream. That's like, I know, right? <laughs> Who doesn't want? That's what Martin Luther King was talking about, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Dude. Oh, my God. Like, go bikini. Perfect. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> God. Match made in heaven right there. <laughs> no. Uh, what's the other uh, uh, movie that came out recently that you did not like was Sicario 2. <laughs> Yeah, but we both didn't like them. Yeah. Yeah. No, and I didn't. I didn't like it. So see, we agree. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> we, yeah. Every yeah, now yeah. then, a all clock's right. right twice a day, right? I mean, uh, broken clock. <laughs> there you go. Broken <laughs> clock twice. All right. So, uh, so that's it. You know, you know, for uh, for movies. I've also played. Uh, I played. Uh, I, I'm still playing uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I, I I think I'm just gonna leave it at this. I hit the experience wall. The experience wall is a thing. It's real. Uh, Ubisoft, pretty much Ubisoft did on that one, and it's a shame because it, it. I feel like because of that, I can no longer stand by and recommend this because it it is it is so obvious that it's hurting the game. Like it, it really hurts the game, you know. And I'm talking about hey, even with the story and all that, but an hour, an hour and a half. Sometimes I have a whole playing session and I don't level up. It's like, come on, this it, it's. <laughs> It's not even worth mentioning much, yeah. anymore. So, sorry. So that that's the yeah, uh, that's the Assassin's Creed Origins minute. I did play. I don't know which one of these two I want to continue because one of them, one of them, it's uh, one of them is the effect of playing the other one. I, okay, I'm gonna start with the cause. Okay, and then the effect. <laughs> I'm gonna leave for last. I played a little bit of the uh, Fallout 76 beta. Oh, on nice. PC. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> About that. About that. <laughs> So, what is there to say about Fallout 76? Other than it's hot garbage. <laughs> I, mean, I believe that's literally what I wrote. Are you serious? Let me see. <laughs> Hot garbage. What? <laughs> all, right, all right. So let me let, let me preface by 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 saying uh, when this game was announced with the with the awesome presentation that uh, Todd Howard Todd, Todd, uh, yeah, Todd Howard, Todd Howard uh, gave it, I was very excited so much so that I literally pre-ordered that game. While we were watching that E3 presentation, and you remember we were yes. at your house. Yes. Like right there. I just went to Amazon. It's Amazon. Simple. You don't have to pay anything. Just, hey, just, yeah, hit, I want it. The... Yeah, there you go. So uh, so I was looking forward. The more I, could, uh, I, I read about it, first of all, there was nothing being shown. So, of course, we were wondering, like, what type of gameplay this is. We were explained what the gameplay is, but we were not shown what the game it is. And the fact that, he uh, thought Howard said it right there on the presentation that, hey, this is it, this is not verbatim, of course, but this basically came out to be a this is an experiment that we're doing. Correct. Yeah. This is exactly you know, this is our said. first time, you know, going into a multiplayer. No, because well, uh, the other one, ESO. Although I don't think that's, that's not them. them. That's not, but they're publishing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. But no. Well, yeah, but no. I, I mean, I'm talking about the, first the team that does. Yeah, the team that does the the, the, the Fallout. Which he's helming, I be, you know, I believe, because mm-hmm. the other team, yeah. you know, the ESO is being held by another division. So yeah, bro, it shows. So let me tell you why I am concerned. Why I'm gonna be very critical of it, even though it's a beta, and what I am very concerned. And the fact is that this quote unquote beta is really almost alpha stage and is releasing in the next two weeks. Yeah, there is not enough time to do anything to this game to make it from the experience that I have to, oh, wow, you should spend $60 on this game. Absolutely nothing, bro. And I have a list of grievances here <laughs> that I want to tell you about. First was the performance. You what, know, where, where were you playing on PC? I, I, I played on PC, yeah. Okay. 
and, and, and you know that I, I recently upgraded oh, my great, PC. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I have a 1080 uh, 1080 uh, T. Actually, no, that's not true. Uh, I have a, an RTX 20 uh, 2080, not the TI, but the 2080, which roughly the same, uh, roughly the same, a similar spec in performance as a 1080 Ti. Uh, one of the most powerful cards of the last uh, of, of of last generation. <laughs> I was gonna say, but of the last year and the year before and, and all that. And an 8700K uh, uh, Intel A core CPU, which should be enough to get me the, to get this the, any game to run over 100 frames per second if I you know if I wanted to throw at it you know it's I I, I like gaming on PC it's it's what I do of course I'm gonna you know I, I prepare to spend some money on it I was struggling to reach 30 frames per second sometimes even hitting that the game per, performed around you know 30 to 40 frames per uh, per second when I put stuff at medium level. And I played it in full screen because evidently when you start the game, it defaults to playing on window mode. I don't know why, uh, because most games uh, automatically uh, play in full screen. So, so you gotta be you you gotta be attentive to to this. Which on the on, you know most of newer PC games, you don't have to worry about that. All you're doing is just tweaking more of what the whatever the default settings uh, are. But then again, this is a very ancient engine already <laughs> we're talking about the engine uh, of, of of oblivion uh, like yeah. you know of, from the, back in the day yeah. from yeah a decade mm-hmm. almost a decade that's not even where the problem started <laughs> the problem started when they announced that the uh, beta was supposed to start on october 30th at 5 p.m eastern standard time and in reality it was it started at 7 p.m because evidently they screwed up the the time zone, wow. and they put the, te- the time in. So so the, so they put the time in in, in mountain time rather than east, the eastern, and they acknowledged that they did that, but they didn't fix it. They didn't fix it. I thought they, the they, launcher, they extended uh, one of the following plays, and, and then because I thought I read that. No, they, that's something else. There's, oh, there's okay. another reason for okay. that which I haven't touched on, which it's it's even worse. No, th- no. This one it started. It, so, so it's not that it started late or anything like that. It was that it was always meant to start at seven, but they were using the modern th- time zone, so they messed that up. The problem with that was that, and it didn't. This didn't happen to me, but oh my god, if it would have. <laughs> this was forty-seven gigabyte, uh, forty-seven gigabyte download for this beta, and if you started it any moment earlier <laughs> than the time that it was supposed to start, it will delete your download. It will delete your files. Wow. It will go, and this will happen on console, mm. and this will happen on PC as well. Do you know what other thing does that? A fucking virus. Yeah. <laughs> a virus yeah. it will be the That's one. That's exactly that will how that works. So, <laughs> would you imagine if you were, if you had some sort of uh, of, of monthly cap, you know, uh, on 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 your internet, mm-hmm. and you're downloading already forty seven gig, you know, gigabytes, you're already like let's say a third of the way, just to have to. Redownload it all over. It's 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 like it's it's ridiculous yeah, for an absolutely. error that they don't care to fix. <laughs> like they, you should have actually technically a beta. Either, <laughs> no, well, yeah. no, but the launcher. How hard it is to put to take away. Just take away the thing that say, hey, it starts at five. Just take that image out. <laughs> you know, take that. Have it appear no image there, but nothing like that. And a lot of people got affected by this. And uh, dude, if uh, do it, were uh, you one? No, oh. no, no. I didn't try to uh, uh, to 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 play because by the time I, I installed it, it was already like into already, and then I had to spend like another half an hour trying to figure out the the settings to make this look uh, run half decent. Yeah. So when I finally was able to 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 run it a little bit half decent, I discovered that for a 2018 PC game, this game has no widescreen support. Not ultra widescreen, I should say. I should say, it it, it is tough. Which, all right. So there's gonna be the Campbell people that say, well, you know, it's not meant to be, you know, r- you know, run and that and this and that. And I get it. There's some people that play on consoles. Hey, if we run con- if we run great on console, good for you. But if you're making a PC version, it is pretty much expected that you should be supporting the stuff that is. 
the 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 stuff that is expected of you to 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 support uh, on a PC ga- on a on a PC gaming port, for example, decent mouse and keyboard, you know, uh, for you know, for example, the different you know resolutions that are not like weird garbage, not having your frame your frame rate locked well, as yeah. this one has, yeah. you know, and for hilarious reasons, I haven't even gone to you know what? No, let's touch on the reason on, on the reason why. The game is locked at, at 60. This and this is part. This 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 is a, a a fault of the of the engine itself. If you unlock the frame rate, which you could do by hacking the INI files, which already have you like dozing off or, or like blank staring, you could just say by hacking it. By because. hacking the <laughs> INI files, you will literally break the physics in the game. On a multiplayer game, so that means that suddenly you could be running faster because your frame rate is unlocked. Mm-hmm. Now, in the world of the game, you are running faster than anybody else. You are reloading faster. You are shooting fast. You know what I mean? It's like, why is this happening? And first of all, why is this happening on 2018? And why is this happening still on a game that is about to be released? <laughs> like, this is the code that you already pressed on... on, on the, don't call it a beta. This is already pressed on CDs, I bet. You know, this is gold. Oh, yeah. uh, Which uh, is going to uh, have almost. quite a massive uh, patch, patch day one. Day one oh, patch, you yeah. better Absolutely. believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't, by the way, if you're still buying this game, don't buy, don't, don't, don't buy a physical. There's no reason. You can't play this game offline. No. You know. So, 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 so don't, don't waste your time on that. So... No ultra wide, no FOV. Feel of you. Yeah, no, no, no FOV adjustment. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> again, something that you can go into the uh, into the files and hack, but then instead of f- fixing your field of view, uh, you know, making it closer or farther, it, it does it, it 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 includes the hot elements. So you can actually, if you make it closer. You can have your the hot elements like disappear, disappear to the to sides the edges, of the yeah. uh, mm-hmm. you know, to the edges of the screen. Why? <laughs> like seriously, I told you I was gonna yell a lot of this episode. Why? 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 But why is this Bethesda like for for every praise that these guys have had with their janky engines? Just because at the end of the game you still receive a game that is you know that is halfway decent and it is enjoyable, you know. <laughs> this looks incredibly amateurish. Like, <laughs> like this. You're not accounting for the fact that this is possible. <laughs> you know, uh, the the control, the the, the back, the, the the like I like I mentioned, keyboard and mouse. It's all jacked up. You have to. You have like, <laughs> you have a shitload of keys on your keyboard, and 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 not to mention on a mouse. And somehow, you have to use. The the Z, uh, the letter Z and the letter C as Charlie to select shit. It's like, why? Why not let me select it with the mouse, for example, or with the with the uh, arrow, arrow keys? keys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, why? Why that? <laughs> why does jo- I tell you why? Because it is a super super shitty port. And when I say a shitty console port, I don't mean hey. Consoles are shitty, and they're trying to shit, try that shit that, uh, that that bring that shit on PC. I'm not saying that because the console versions probably run great. What I mean by that is when you have a game that's designed for consoles, console, but then yeah. you have you take no care of bringing it to to to, to specialize it on on, on a PC. On, on a PC. Mm-hmm. You just you just literally take that. You're just code pulling and it. You're throwing it in there and then it is, letting it run. It, it is runs, yeah. it is sad because it's not gonna run like that because the controllers are not gonna be exactly the same. And sure, I could put a. a I can put a a controller probably and play that way, but at that point I'll be at, at a disadvantage of everybody else that playing with keyboard and mouse because at the core of of this game is still a shooter, a bad shooter. Because if you remember correctly, the shooting in Fallout games do not feel great. No, don't hence feel, the VAT system. Hence the VAT <laughs> yeah. system exactly. Hence the reason why we had the VAT system. But oh, wait a minute. No, we don't have the VAT system on this because the oh, VAT no, system no. Yeah, on that's this not there. Yeah. is a... No, it is there. No, no, it but is, the, the pause. You got, no, I'm not pausing ex- anybody. Yeah, yet. you don't pause. It is a joke, bro. It is the most afterthought, thought, thought possible. It is basically... Because it's in real time, nothing's stopping, of course. It's not expected to stop, but then why even consider to have it? 
Uh, it, it, the, the, what it does is basically, depending on how you're pointing or the last place that you pointed, and you activate at uh, VAT, and it'll open a percentage, basically, kind of like you remember VAT. Mm-hmm. But everything's still moving in real time. You shoot, mind you, doesn't matter where the gun is pointing. If you had a point to where it'll say body 80%, even if it's like pointing at the freaking moon, you press that trigger, it'll still hit that eighty percent. It will still get that body shot. It's ridiculous. It is so like 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 what 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 are they doing? PVP, which I accidentally did, is a joke. I, I'm sorry. I realize that I'm coming on um, very negative on this game. I am intent. I, I'm doing it with intention. You guys should definitely 100% wait for reviews on this. If you pre-ordered this, take this as a warning. Do not take the shrink wrap off <laughs> until you start reading reviews, because I don't. I did not try it on, on console, but I heard the console uh, the versions. Uh, that evidently, they're not faring a lot better when it comes to performance. But if you don't really care for that, you might still have an enjoyable experience. And to be fair. It's, it might I've still heard, be yeah. a game. It's still mixed bag, where, even on console. Yeah. Where you could, well, well, if you're playing with a group, let's say you, we, you know, we got a, a few members of, of our group. I can see how it could be enjoyable for that play for that playthrough that we do. But I will, I do not see it being something that anybody will stick, because at least not in this, in you know, in in the state that that it is right now. Again, it it looks like it looks like it has. Do you remember when I when I mentioned? Oh, I bet you this game will be delayed. You yeah, know, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. say no, there's no, there's no way. It's already too in. You know, this train never. St-. Yes, I do believe what you said. This train doesn't stop because it's already going too fast. And the problem is, is the only way it's gonna stop is gonna be when it crashes. Like correct, it, I did say that it has to be some like massive, that. massive failure or massive critical issue for them to say. Guys, we can't release this. There was a game that I saw at an experience, you know, firsthand. But I, I saw that it was that uh, when it was out, it almost looked this bad. Mm-hmm. That was the original Final Fantasy fourteen. Yeah. Right. Now Final Fantasy fourteen got pulled out basically. People uh, reworked it. You know, Square Enix reworked it in a in a in a in a span of a year of a year and a half to two years, I believe it was. They completely reworked that game to the mastery that it is right now. I don't play any you know, MMOs, but the little bit of a play, I was like impressed. Like how can people how how people are playing WoW when this exists? This is so much better, so much polished, so much much cleaner. And that was when it was released. Now they have uh, they have added additional stuff. So of course it's it's exponential. Another example of that would be No Man's Sky. No Man's, no Man's Sky, Sky another, yeah. yeah. No Man's Came Sky. Out Hot, hot garbage, basically. Hot garbage, yeah. yeah, and here it is. Was it two years later now? Right, was, two years yeah. later, two and years. they are. They still have their community. Yeah, uh, and they really now. That's what I see happening here. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. At this point, <laughs> you know, what you can hope for is that. And now Bethesda's saying like, oh, this didn't do very well. This actually this would probably, yeah, this probably fall under those two games more than the other because they're full price. This is a full price game. It is, it, yeah, 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 full price sixty dollar game. And, that, it, and that's my problem. If this game, if this game at least, I mean, if you're gonna do, oh, because mind you, the 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 bugs and the stuff and and, and you know the things that I have described are are there, are there still? They haven't worked on those. But you got your microtransaction store already ready for you, all right? That that's done. That that is ready. They're if you're ready, <laughs> you know. Right now, you can't spend real money just yet. But day one, I it's bet you will be able yeah. to. Yeah, that that is one pretty of, steam working. One of the uh, download, one of the microtransactions is called the bug fixer. <laughs> the <laughs> bug fixer, exactly. <laughs> you have to pay nine ninety nine. And hey, this Bobby, will run a little better for you now. This will de-jank. It's called the de-janker. The that's de-janker. what it is. That's yeah. actually a great freaking name. <laughs> yeah, the Janker. The Bethesda G Janker. Because yeah, this rigs and, and the Bethesda Bethesda has it it's a company that has published. I'm not gonna say, you know, developed because a lot of the games that we that are we published, say yeah. are yeah. They, they are fantastic. <laughs> Bethesda is just a publisher. Each software is a, is a or machine games or you know, those those games. Mm-hmm. You know, the the one that's doing 
follow. Ar- we, was it Arcane? Or Arcane, oh, yeah, yes. Or Arcane, thing. thank you. Yes, let's not, let's not forget. The team that does Fallout is just, as a single player, it works. But it's still it like you even playing even playing Fallout Four, you could tell like yeah, this engine is it's old already. I have something to say on that one when we get to when we, yeah, I have a little something to to actually probably piggyback on that. But go ahead. All right, yeah. all right. Well, no, I, I think I made my point. <laughs> uh, the game sucks on, uh, on it. No, it, yeah. I can't see. I, I can't review it just yet. No, of I can tell it's you about yeah. my impressions. Yeah. Uh, but see, but it isn't. It, it's it more is. like it until is it's so, the official release, it's still you. You, can, but you can't. The, what can they fix here to make we it? We don't know. This I'm sure more, they're working on a patch at all some right, point. So, yeah. so this is a marketing beta, not a a a, a fixable beta. I, I mean, it doesn't feel like it is, man. I mean, I get you. This close out. This can, was how, how, how can you? What can you possibly do with Super this Crunch? Time? Like mega exactly. Crunch. Those people, like, yeah, yeah. Those four I people are gonna be working sorry, every day, all day. I, I feel sorry because they they did a great E three presentation. When this gets out, I feel like this is gonna be worse than Spore at at the at the level that it is right now. And again, your your mileage may vary. You might not have these problems. You might not care about you know most of these issues. Yeah, as most you, as most of uh, Fallout fans mm. no because a lot of them are very forgiving of the jank you know they they mm. they're there they they'll buy the game day 1 because they know this is fallout fa- this is how fallout runs it is what it is mm. but i'm going to get a great crazy story out of it or some crazy whatever happened you know mm. and this it's actually how how uh, the game sells. The game sells literally off the back that yeah. this is going to be a, a funny. And yeah, they'll fix stuff here and there, but it's yeah. not gonna. It's not gonna. It's not yeah. gonna matter really. <laughs> at, yeah, at that point, it's like who you know, def- definitely who cares. So, 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 yeah. Be warned. You know, watch reviews. I feel like this is one of these games where there's not gonna be reviews day one because it's not the game that is possible to do that. Mm-hmm. And you're gonna be very, you know, very, like very anxious to play. Take this as just advice. Wait on it. Definitely wait on it. Let's let's see. Let's let's see. ESO was a game that when it was released at first, it was not well received. It had a lot of jank and a lot of issues. Over the years, they have made that game good, you know, and that's why I was almost hoping that they will delay this one because I didn't. I I don't want to hear of a Fallout game failing you know or or, or being bad, and it will. you know it will. and i, I don't have i can guarantee you that almost i can almost guarantee you that it's not gonna fail i will because of the just because of the fallout name i can well not not, not i don't think it's, it's gonna as financially but the word on the street is gonna be harsh i tell you it, from what i from I what i you. experienced no no i hear you i hear you but it, the problem is it's i i almost i almost want to I almost want to bet on the numbers, but I really wouldn't know what numbers to bet. But uh-huh. I can almost guarantee you that it will still do well. Mm. Probably critically, not so, not so much. But financially, I think it will do well. Oh. And and then of course it will have its legs because as most of these games do nowadays, they you know fix and repair as they go on. Yeah, but you know? if when when I t- when I tell you like this game doesn't f- feels yet that it has. That is that it has it, that it has its legs basically. I'll, I'll give you an example of what mm-hmm. I mean. Every mission we already know that there's no NPCs to talk to. There's just robots and holotapes. All right. So Fallout is already inherited because of the world. Mm-hmm. It is already inheriting uh, it, the, the 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 loneliness. You know the fact that it's yeah, yeah. it's a lonely endeavor. You're going by yourself, or in the case of Fallout Four, you're going with your dog. <laughs> So the, for for some reason, the fact that this game is the way it is, it makes it there's no NPCs. It makes it feel a lot lonelier, even though it's a multiplayer game. And at the beginning, yes, you hear people, and they can hear you. Oh, because that was another thing. Mics open all the time. Not push to talk, but mics open all the time for God knows why. <laughs> You could be talking to your wife. You can be, you know, the uh, whole saying, uh, are, yeah. the whole conversation. <laughs> and you know, a strange you could, could listen, you know, could listen to it because why? <laughs> so, so my mission was to, oh, go meet this person. He will teach you how to do something. You know, no, no, let's not spoil it. Just something. Okay. You already know that person is not going to be alive because of the way the game is made. Mm-hmm. So. Every mission is that. It's if you tell if you, if you get oh go here and meet with this person, you know that when you get to that place, you're just gonna find a corpse, 
and a holotape because the corpse died with the holotape, <laughs> you know, at hand, giving you the last words or or, or whatever. And it's gonna get old. You're just gonna get tired of that. That's that's what I'm thinking. It's like this game is depending a lot on players making their own story in their own games, but it's like know your audience. People don't play like, unfortunately, people don't play like that. People are just jerks that are just going to be bunny hopping and shooting. It's like, everybody's supposed to be a, a, a civilized member of the vault. Why is there, Why are they shooting at me? You know, so what, what is the purpose? And if I try to have the, you know, if I try to take in the story of what's going on here, what happened to the vault, where is everybody? Why did every, uh, every NPC die or whatever? Why do I have to listen to you, you know, uh, yelling at your mom on the other <laughs> side, you know, the kids yelling or or, 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 or talking, you know, the, the worst <laughs> of the online, you know, mm -hmm. and, and you have, you don't have a choice. You, if you mute them, you mute yourself. And if you mute them, you hear everything. So it's like uh, just a bunch of oh, bad choices. So rather than continue moving, you know, I'm going to move on to <laughs> the effect of oh, me yes. playing that, mm. in that game. This is what this game did to me. This is what this beta did to me. I play, I'm going to type it here, actually. And you're going to tell. I play this game. House Party? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this is pretty much... This is a porn game. Oh, wow. This is a porn game. But oh, damn. But not only is it a porn game, it is a bad porn game. It is a Unity, uh, a, 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 a Unity engine based acid flip. <laughs> All right. And this is this is what you ended up doing. This is what I ended up doing. Not only that. Not only that. This is how long I ended up doing. <laughs> Uh, I, I ended up, you know, doing eight it. hours. Yes, I some spent, house party, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I spent eight hours on this chunk, and you know what? I have fun on this, this game. compared to the other one. I right? realized that this is gonna make me sound very bad, but I just thought it was hilarious the fact that <laughs> I was like, I, like my wife was right here, you know, uh, she she was studying, and I'm like, honey, look at this, just fucking look at this. This is <laughs> this is hilarious because it's it, it's not all right. So when I say a porn game, it's not like you start, you know, it it it's it, it's not like literally like a porn movie that will have very little story and then. But the brown, you yeah, know, it's yeah. not gonna be that. It's just you you go into this party, this house party, you know, you're an invited, you know, an invited guest to this party. The you know, you're trying to meet the people you know uh, over there, and the dialogue is terrible. But as because, it should be. As it should as be. As is to be expected. Yeah, but because it's it's so bad, you're enthralled <laughs> into what's happening. Like, dude, I ended up Knowing the name of the characters without having to look at who, who you know who who it was. Well, after eight hours, I would assume. Getting so. to <laughs> getting to know, yes, I know. Getting to know them to know that like, oh, this person, you know, this person likes this, so I should prepare this so that I give it to this person, so it'll advance me into the next level of the story. And let's say, because you could play as whatever character. For example, there there's a guy that is. Uh, among the invited guests of this, uh, there's a guy that is kind of like a Vin Diesel mm -hmm. uh, looking dude that does not drink and does not like anybody drinking. Like if he catches anybody drinking on a on a party, he will come in and beat uh, and beat you up. Oh well, wow. yeah. So so you have to you know, and he's guarding and 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 he's in the middle like guarding the uh, the, the where the liquor is. So why would they invite a person like this? I don't know. Who cares? I don't think the game is made that expertly enough to where it needs to give an explanation of it. So, but it still tries to, and it's hilarious because you can see it try. The game is not. The game is like alpha. It's 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 it's, it's not completed. You saw the price there. That's not the price. Oh, I, I didn't paid, see obviously. the price. No. Oh, it's fourteen ninety nine for this. Oh Jesus. Fourteen ninety nine for this. I did not pay that at all. I pay three ninety nine, <laughs> which is some might say that's still too much, but need I remind you, I spent eight hours and I had a blast with this stupid thing because it was so stupid that at that point it was like, okay, this is terrible. This is a bad movie, 
you know, when I say when I say it's a porn game, I I, I don't mean like the whole time. It, it's it's more like like Porky's, you know, like mm-hmm. that movie yeah, Porky's. Yeah, movie you Porky's, know, yeah. it'll have nudity, but it's not. You know, it, the whole movie is not about that, but it is that 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 kind of hijinks. Except okay. that when it's time to get down, it really got down to the point where I felt ashamed. Like at, the, at, at, at one point, I was like, and my wife was already in bed by that time. I was like, if I if, 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 she, if she was to walk through that door <laughs> through the door, she, you know, <laughs> I would feel so ashamed. So I literally, and I realize she's listening to me probably right now. <laughs> but I, I, that's a, that's the point where I was like, okay, nope, I'm done. <laughs> I, I, I think enough. I have enough to talk about, I, I, to, to, you know, to describe, uh, to describe it. It's really stupid. Like I said, it's a, it, it is, it is an asset flip. It is horribly objectifying to women because basically the as version, most of these games are as most yeah. of the games yeah. are because the whole the whole point of it is to score with them basically. Mm-hmm. You don't see your character. Uh, the only thing you see is your legs, and if you take your dick out, oh wow! This is the only thing, <laughs> the only thing that you that, that you see, because uh, you can't even have you don't even have reflections on the mirror, <laughs> because <laughs> you wouldn't expect it from an acid flip. Of course not. <laughs> and because because of what I, because I said it was it's early. There's some missions that are not it's not possible to complete them mm-hmm. because they're still working on them. You know, nor do I care to revisit and find out what happens. Even though a little part of me doesn't want to know at least one particular mission, I was like, I need to know where the hell this is going because this is levels of stupid that I need to know the mind of this developer. It breaks the the the, the fourth wall to to the point where one of the you know one of the the, the females they even say, oh, you know, it's like you have the the mind of a sick uh, game developer, and I'm wow. like, oh, you know, right? I know, right? So it was. It, it, <laughs> I I feel I feel like I, and I feel like I should be ashamed. I enjoyed this more than Fallout seventy six, and that should tell you a lot. <laughs> that should tell you a lot. I had the the, the beta was. Uh, I think you could play for four hours or something. Like that. I don't know. I think it was limited, but I think if yeah, I give it three hours, limited, yeah, it was yeah. like okay, I I am done. And mm-hmm. meanwhile, I feel like I've given it all, a, a lot, right? <laughs> It was. I didn't mean to 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 <laughs> hog the podcast, but if I didn't talk about house party, I mean, yeah. Well, we we definitely miss would miss out. Available on, on Steam right now for fourteen ninety nine. Jesus, or three ninety nine by coupon. When I guess. It, no, it was it, it was some. I think humble no, bundle. It was a. I don't think it was a Halloween special. It might have been the Halloween special. I don't know. It's. Mm. I just saw it like that. And I was like. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I need a palate cleanser. That is definitely. <laughs> A palate cleanser, I guess. Oh my god! Take it, take my, take my mic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, uh, so I guess I'll go into what I have been up to. First and foremost, I am going to start. Matter. You're not going to top me with that. The oh no, I'm sure I'm not. I'm just going to quickly roll through the the movies I saw. I saw a cure for wellness, and Wait. I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't care. You didn't care. Uh, you didn't care about Q for Wellness. It was. I mean, it was okay. It, it just was. So, I mean, the premise is pretty simple. This guy, he works for a corporation. Uh, he's sent to a wellness center in Sweden or Switzerland. Or it could be Switzerland, and uh, to retrieve the CEO of a corporation, and they need to bring him back because. They're trying to do a merger, and he's he's jeopardizing that for some reason. Yeah, like, the fact that he's over there, correct. Not yeah. doing his and, job. and and also they sent a letter that was very cryptic, but also feels like, oof, this is not good for the company. So, mm-hmm. so anyway, he uh, the guy, the younger guy, goes out there, and uh, and then of course he gets trapped in the wellness center. This is DiCaprio, right? This not DiCaprio, no, oh, uh, I forgot fine. his name. But it's a uh, it's again it's it's an okay film. I I it got I guess okay reviews, but it's not. I guess it was trying to be kind of like Shutter Island, and it really wasn't right. Shutter Island. You know what I mean? I said Shutter Island was a better I version see, of I this. Saw, I saw this. I saw this movie before. Mm-hmm. Uh, I saw a, Sh- a Shutter Island, and I liked it. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, the, it was not the like order of things. I guess that works. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was like I don't think it was great. It was. It was okay. It yeah. was. Yeah. I mean, it has it had some some crazy moments. The realistically though. Visually, a great film. Yeah, visually, visually definitely great. Film. I yeah. will definitely uh, give that to, and that's Gore Verbinski, uh, who was actually up for making the Bioshock film, 
Uh, but of oh, course, that fell through, unfortunately. That, oh, that would have been great. The, he could... A lot. The reason I actually went to see this is I actually ran into a YouTube video online. I love to see a lot of film YouTube videos, uh, f- uh, film analysis and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. One of the YouTube videos I saw was a, a Cure for Wellness, the Bioshock movie that we'll never get. So I was like, Ooh. oh, wow. I was like, oh, man, that, that right there. You know how I love Bioshock. Yes. I was like, oh, I need to put this on my list. Yeah. And I see the connections that they're trying to do. Mm-hmm. Um, like, for instance, the girl kind of looking like a little sister, dressed in the little the froggy water. dress. All the water. All the element with the water. Um, yeah. the, the, the elements of the facility that looks very 40s, 50s, you know what I mean? Um, the, the, well, I, 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 I was going to say the... Uh, the the thing you can believe you can believe if you don't want it to say the parasites I was gonna say the yeah the parasites, the parasites. yeah yeah and yeah. and you know just the, the the little elements and so it's it's I can see where they're going with it I can see oh man Gorbavinsky probably would have done really well he with the material yeah. uh, already done um, this one here it, it look it didn't feel like it took chances uh that like and then the end was very just like oh so it's just that you it's know what i mean that, it's, it's yeah. just it become it becomes a simple almost monster movie at that point yeah. you know what i mean yeah and i'm like ah you know, i was yeah. I, I felt the exact same yeah. way also so on that that's uh that's yeah dane dehan is uh is the name of the character uh who plays the, the main character anyway so i saw that it's okay it's out there i think it's on if you have a hulu it's on hulu so you can watch it oh there you go yeah. yeah uh then we also wa- watched my wife and i we also watched a movie that i have meant to watch for years now, and I've never gotten around to do it as an Academy Award winning film, and for whatever reason, it just one way or another. Like, I went to start it at one point, I know the kind of movie it is, and I'm like, ooh, I gotta be in the right mindset for this film. <laughs> and that is Schindler's List. Oh, <laughs> and I finally, I finally sat down and watched wow. it. Wow. Uh, my wife's seen it. Not an easy, not an easy uh, watch, I've, no, I've heard. not in many ways, because the movie is three hours and 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> you know, be so comfortable, wear yeah, something exactly. like and uh, turn the air conditioning. That said, it does not feel like three hours and 15 minutes. Mm. It is very engaging film, mm. very hard to watch at points. Mm. Um, it does not shy away from a lot of the horrors of the uh, Holocaust. And um, if you don't know the story, the story simply is a, a, a German man uh, who's played by Liam Neeson, uh, Mr. Schindler, essentially. Uh, he is in Germany at the time where the Germans literally take everything away from the Jews mm. and they take them out of the houses and everything, literally f- like like cattle them over to a, an area that ends up be called it's called the ghetto and they just kind of put them in these houses or apartments that are already kind of broken down and all this mm-hmm. and that's where they kept and they have no rights they have no rights to own anything they'll have no rights to buy anything um and all that so he comes in this is right at the beginning of the film, he comes in knowing there's a war knowing the war is going to require certain things and he opens a business right near the ghetto and hires all these Jewish uh, 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 people to work at the, at the factory. He hires and pays them. Very, uh, and the way the way the pay system works is almost like he pays them, but he's actually paying other people for them. And they, they it's it's a weird it's a weird system. You kind of have to see uh, what it. But he he's basically making buco money. You uh-huh. know what I mean? Uh, and through the through the uh, thing, he's he's a kind guy. He's not you know, but he is still German. He he recognizes that they are you know Jewish, and there's this separation between yeah. the two. But he is a kind uh, uh, man, and at some point, he you know he realize he he sees the horrors and realizes, obviously this is you know, but and it looks like he's not going to put himself into you know a, a certain situation. This is a true story, by the way, guys. If you don't know, this is a true story. Anyway, he ends up saving many many uh, uh, J- Jewish people uh, through that through the point where they literally can look at him almost as a family, uh, as mm-hmm. as you know someone that that and it's it is amazing. It's not an easy watch. I highly recommend it. I don't think you will sit through the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> but I because hi- of because of it being slow or because the, of it being like hard to watch. It's it's going to be hard to watch. Yeah. It is it, and and it, no, I don't think there's any slow parts. They are just evil moments. Yeah. It's just like who can be this way? And then I th- the most fascinating thing uh, about the whole uh World War 2 and everything was it was. It's always unbelievable to know that this evil exists. It is, you yeah. know what I mean. It really. Yeah. Um. It's just. It's. It's almost. You. You picture in your mind's eye. And you kind of look like uh, this. Almost feels like a comical villain. And yeah. then you look at it and you go, No, this. This is exactly how they were. You know this what is, I mean. This is not the. You know. The, 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 for for all the parts that they make it like the the heroics of the soldiers mm-hmm. and, yeah. and and stuff like that that they they, they romanticize on those type of movies. 
which like they the are they are considered the are greatest considered. generation. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, yeah, obviously they they you know of everything we, that happened. It, yeah. it also you know they also this is this is where the part where they show all, oh, but there was. It's, this is the reason they're fighting is Correct. because of this horrors Correct. that are happening here exactly. and this. This is that, why they were heroes because these are the parts remember. that you don't want to remember that Correct. you don't want to. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And when you see it in this film, and I, I, it's just like I said, it it doesn't pull punches. Mm. Uh, the film is completely in black and white for the record. Yeah, also, I heard that too. Um, it has moments of color, and they're purposefully done. It's it's meant to focus on this for a moment. You know what uh. I mean? And it's really, really well done. Clearly, obviously, it's an Academy Award-winning film. When they say color, you mean like like full color, like a normal film, the, or would you say they no they color throw within the within the black and white within the black and white? Okay, yeah. gotcha. Like certain things within the black and white are not black or yeah. you know or gray yeah. or whatever. It's actually color. Yeah, gotcha. So definitely recommend if you haven't seen it. Just know what you're getting into. <laughs> yeah. You know, I probably won't get into. It. <laughs> no, you will not. And uh, and lastly, I'm just gonna go back into Red Dead. Now that I have spent some time with Red Dead Redemption, yes. And I don't want to take too much, <laughs> too much time here since, since we're already <laughs> way past time. But well, you're I'm, welcome. I'm, I'm a little bit. How do I say? I'm a little bit. Country. The it's it's uh, there's a weird thing going on where there are problems with this game. Okay. Really. There are problems with this game. Oh, oh yes. no! Yeah. Please take your time and explain no, to no, us no, what no. you so, mean because this game is being like super highly acclaimed right now, even though. I heard a lot of a lot of the people I think would agree, even the ones who highly acclaimed it, that uh-huh. there are problems with this game. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the main problems is the controls. There's just a lot of controls. Mm-hmm. There isn't a lot of explanation on how to do it. And I get it, nobody likes tutorials, but realistically, this is a game that needs yeah. tutorials, okay? The tutorials are there for I guess the majority of it. Or the majority of the stuff that you can do. But unfortunately, not all of it, and it's so spread out. So mm-hmm. when it teaches you how to do a move here in hour two, mm-hmm. by the time you need to or will do it again, it's hour five or six. You forgot. You don't remember where yeah. it is. And there's no easy way to find it. The menus are atrocious, okay? Mm-hmm. Finding anything there is to save mm-hmm. is a problem. And you have to save often, wow. okay? Because that's the type of game. I actually mentioned last week a scenario where I had to redo stuff because I didn't save. That's and right. You were at the beginning. Correct. And I already to give impressions. So these are the full impression. The, of the yeah, I only How played an hour and a half. Left. I'm about 20 hours in. Okay. So that's, and I'm about 25, almost 25 percent of the of the main story uh-huh. uh, done. And so that's that's what. Which to be fair, as of Wednesday, because I haven't played since Tuesday, and as of Wednesday, kind of took a poll as to, hey, where you at in the percentage wise? Uh-huh. Most people weren't even past 10 yet. So I've okay. I've gotten uh, significantly into it. Yeah. That said, controls don't get easier. <laughs> uh, the you know the, again the menus are, are really bad, but is it laggy? Because there's thing, no lag. I have not had any lag. No, no. I, I mean like the, the the response of the menus. Because one thing in GTA that no. I noticed, well, you didn't have to go into the menus often. Maybe maybe the map every so often, but whenever I had to go into the menu for something else, again you don't go often. Here you it go will often. feel it will feel a little like oh really? Yeah. Here, here you go off. Well, keep in mind. You you have your your dial menus right your your dials and each button has a different dial and when you're next to the horse it's a different dial when you're away from the horse it's a different dial so oh, a radio menu the, is a radio. Not. well yeah but it's still it's a lot going on uh-huh. and it's like wait where is the thing that I need is it in the horse <laughs> menu or is it in my menu do I have to sit to menu this or what do I have to do I heard that you were having problems uh, accessing the em- my saddlebags yeah but saddle so bag. so here's a simple uh, a simple explanation so when you go into you have to dress accordingly this is another issue with the game this may be more of a personal issue and that is there's a lot of maintenance a lot of simulation for there. everything you have yeah. to maintain your horse you have to maintain your health you have to maintain your well-being um you have to actually bathe i didn't realize uh-huh. i've only bathed once and i was looking <laughs> at my character at one point why do i look like this i just look disheveled and i'm not even sure why and this is ridiculous then i realized crap i haven't sh- i have not bathed <laughs> since the very beginning of the game my ass is probably smelling for all i know you know <laughs> And your, and your characters are responding. And they will respond to you. Yeah, way. Because, you know, they, they look at you as you want. I just figure wow. they look at me because of stuff that I've done. Now I know what the hell's going on. You fucking freak. Yeah. So, so these are little little things where I'm like, they're cool and all, uh-huh. but they, they they take a lot of the time mm. that I would prefer just be playing the game. Um, yeah. 
Another, uh, so yeah, so the issue I had, simple thing. You go into a cold area, you want to be ready with a cold jack, a jacket to, to be in. If you're in the warmer area, you want to make sure you have a, an outfit that, that you know, that actually goes because you can't get too hot and you can't get too cold. I played a mission. I I basically knew I was in the cold. I stored my winter jacket in my saddlebags on the horse. No clue how to access it. Looking <laughs> everywhere, could not figure out why can I not access this. Wow. I can't tell you how many times I lost my hat. And I have a hat on the horse. <laughs> Don't know how to grab it. It's there. It's it's automatic. It's viewable. It's viewable. It's, yeah. It's, it, no, it's not viewable. Oh. Uh, but it's I know it's there. Cause you, you, I, I loaded it there, you know? <laughs> So the mission that I was playing in the cold, at some point he's coughing and all this stuff, and I know that's what it is. He's cold. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're running through the cold, and he has just a simple jacket <laughs> with a heavy winter coat in his horse Ooh. that I cannot take out. So I have recently figured it out. <laughs> and it's Are you wearing again, it's, it's Yes. It's a menu. You have to be next to the horse, and you have to hit this menu instead of this menu so that that opens up. Oh, and look at there. There's a the winter oh coat. Oh, my yeah. God. So, wow. yeah, it's, it's that is. All that said, Arnaldo Mart, um, my dog, you have played a lot of games during your tenure as a human. Yes, and you have finished a lot of games. Actually, you, be, yes. you, 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 you I say that you're very proficient on games. You mean to tell me that you could not figure out on this game, on this highly acclaimed game that is getting high reviews everywhere, how to access a menu portion <laughs> at your side of yeah, yeah, exactly. on your horse? What does that say? <laughs> this game needs a lot of testing. This so. <laughs> All that now. Here, here's here's the the other end of that. So uh-huh. th- these are my complaints. Uh-huh. Okay, all these complaints, and I cannot wait to go back and play some more. Like I would <laughs> play some more if I had the chance to play some more right now. Okay, Damn. the moment I get home, I know I'm not going to be able to to play. However, I would want like if there's an opportunity, yeah. I would turn it on. The 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 game that they've created is magnificent. It yeah. really, really is. Okay, yeah, it definitely looks. Um, yeah, it's, can't wait to it's, play, play it's a beautiful PC. game. It is a well-crafted game. Mm. Um, it has systems that run in the background, very Bethesda Fallout slash uh, Elder Scrolls like, yeah. where you have all these little clocks running in the background that's doing stuff for you. However, unlike Fallout and the other one. This looks and runs extremely well. Wow. Okay, so that's ever... where that's where I was trying to bring up earlier was to say. Games like this, games like The Witcher, games like Horizon Zero Dawn, these games have put Bethesda on check. You cannot yes. come back out with a shitty game, yeah. which is why I think they said, let's do this one thing we we were playing around with with uh, Fallout 76 uh-huh. because we can't come back out with it. We need yeah. to create a new engine. This is the last Bethesda jank. This is correct. And, that's and I think that's the reason why. That's my own personal theory. I have no clue, no uh-huh. no information anywhere for this, but that's what I think. Because they have already said, chances are the next uh, Fallout or the next uh, Elder Scrolls Elder game, Scrolls. that's going to be next gen anyway. Yeah. So, so that's going to be a ways away. But anyway, going back to Red Dead, dude, it is, it is so real. It's real to a fault. All right. It's it's <laughs> that it, can happen. I, yeah, yeah, it is. It's everything you do. You cannot play this in small bursts. Mm. There's it's just what you won't do much. Mm. Adam from our job. What did he say? He said, I went and played for 45 minutes. I, d- I ended up doing absolutely nothing. I'm <laughs> like, because 45 minutes isn't enough to do something in this game. You <laughs> need more. T- 45 minutes may get you to the mission that you need to do so that you can start. So you, can you know what I mean? So <laughs> it's, it's that kind of game and so many little things that are amazing and and in detail. I I remember. I, and then you have the the honor system, which is cool. But realistically, the characters another kind of a problem, which I guess is he is supposed to be evil, but not. Nah, he's like a good bad guy. You know, he's the outlaw, Josie like Wales. You know what I mean? And and all this, but it allows you and almost forces you sometimes to do things you you don't want to do. You yeah. know what I mean? Granted, when you do them, I when I do them. I kind of feel bad after. I really go, yeah. damn, I really shouldn't have done that. You know what I mean? This guy recognized me or something like that, and I ended up chasing him down. I took somebody's horse that wasn't mine, um, you know what I mean? And I chased him down, whatever, and then he came to this ravine, and I ended up just letting him fall down the ravine, whatever. And then I lost uh, uh, 
honor points, right? Mm. And then I said, okay. And then the, the message comes, well, hey, if you bring back the horse you stole to the owner, you can gain back one. I was, okay, let me do that. So I come back to the to the, to the guy. He goes, oh, man. Oh, so you were a good guy. I, just, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He gave him back the horse, whatever. So I go back to the stable to get where I left my horse at. My people were so smart enough to say, oh, he took that one. Let's grab his horse. And they took it back to camp. So oh. now I'm on foot <laughs> all the way to <laughs> camp. Or I can, of course, steal another horse. <laughs> you know what I'm like? Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what I mean? This is amazing. Yeah, it is. It is. That's, I think, the craziest thing. And don't, don't even get me started on the animals gone wild in this freaking game. <laughs> okay. I seen the gifts. <laughs> yeah. Let hilarious. me tell you, so for the record, some of those are not mine. I've posted mine, but I, a lot of people think these are all mine. Like, no, no. Some of them I found <laughs> and I find funny. Other ones I did on my, uh, these are mine. <laughs> So it's it's a mix in there. But yes, they're all over the place. I, I'm not the only one having this issue. And yeah, I'm like, obviously. what the hell is wrong with these animals? <laughs> you know, I mean, it's hilarious. But uh, at the same time, you, you, if you're working on something <laughs> and you get killed by a freaking deer that decided to hit the hell out of you, uh, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's it, basically you have to redo a lot of stuff. But yeah. other than that, I can definitely recommend this game. I I think... I think it's imperative that everyone plays this game. I really, yeah. really do. Because especially if you are a Fallout fan, especially if you're a fan of that type of game, mm. you need to play this. You love Fallout. You love being on your own and discovering new stuff. This world is chock full of shit to discover. Yeah. Okay. Wow. There is a picture, which I don't know where this is. There is a guy drunk in a like a like a animal pen. Uh-huh. Okay. He's drunk and passed out. The animal has like a skirt on and the dude pr- passed out has his pants down so it's like <laughs> what the hell you know what i mean this is the type of little weird i don't want to know what happened <laughs> yes here. exactly these are the type of little weirds and they're constantly working these these again these clocks are yeah. working in the background your horse di- oh that's the other thing i love my horse i have yeah. three of them i've I, I i've learned to care for these guys and 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 it means to me well like when because sometimes you kind of run into a tree or like the one that i posted where i try to leap over a rock and my the horse fat horse can get over it you know <laughs> and and you i worry i was like oh crap and i'm like i come back i'm you okay you okay here's some <laughs> some chips you know what I mean? whatever <laughs> It's weird. He's a carrot. Um, yeah, he's a carrot, and that usually the carrots are really good for them. <laughs> can um, you name them? You can name them. Uh, my first horse is Roach. Ah, my of sec- course. Second horse is Old Bessie, oh, and then I forgot what my third. I get most recent one that I got. It's, I forgot his name. I don't know what his you name. Should name it Ipona. The uh, probably I should name it Ipona. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a little more original. Uh, there, you know, call them call them like they do in the uh, in the derbies. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, a whispering Red- win or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, something weird like that. So, <laughs> whisper but, of the sun. There you go. Sun, yeah. So, so seriously though, I think everybody should play it. It is not for everybody. I'm going to tell you. It, I think everybody should play it, but at your own time. Yeah. Wait. If if any of this, if this is a slow game, this is another thing. This is not a, a romp. You know, a, 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 this is not GTA. This is the furthest mm-hmm. thing from GTA. Okay. It is also far away from the first Red Dead. There's a lot more slow pace moments but they're and they're purposely done and it's just awesome and infuriating at the same time it's just one of those weird things i don't know if i'm going to finish this game because i am middle of chapter two at 20 hours in there are six chapters and there's two epilogues (laughs) so i don't think i'm going to finish this game i'm just going to tell you this right now however I will get to the end. I will get as far (laughs) yeah (laughs) that's what i do right uh i will get as far as i can I'm enjoying it. I, I yeah. really, I didn't think I would, especially early on, and I, I cannot recommend this more for everyone. You, 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 you're missing out on something special by not playing it. Mm. But at the same time, like I said, it may not be for everybody as well. It's this weird thing. I just, I don't know how to explain it. But especially if you love Fallout games, if you love your Elder Scrolls games, guys, this is the game. That makes those games look yeah. bad, <laughs> like really, really bad. I love um, the way you put it. The, you, 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 you say this is, even though it might it, it not be your type of game, this is something special. This is something that you should try. Absolutely. You know, even though it might not be for you. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we. I think we've taken enough time in the segment. Some might say, <laughs> mind you, sorry. Some might say, I said that about GTA to you. The the yeah, fact that sure, sure. even though it might not be you know for everyone, but you are missing out on something very special. I am glad actually. I'm kind of glad to to see and your reaction. You like you said, you might not even finish finish this game, so it's not 
it, it in, in a lot of ways is confirming what you have always said about, about those games like games, yeah. GTA and stuff yeah. like that that you might not finish it. So do you think that it could Benefit itself from an XP booster, nine ninety nine. The no, no. there's no. <laughs> and either. would you pay because, for it? No, no, no. I wouldn't pay for that either <laughs> because it, it, it the XP booster doesn't isn't really. There's first of all, there's if there's XP, I have no idea what where it's adding anything to. It does well, it in the background, I bet. Because I'm that sure it has something in the background, but it, does, it yeah. doesn't have. It doesn't. It's definitely more, not up front. Yeah. You you run more. Maybe I think there is a uh yeah I think there is a, a like a like a heart bar and a uh, stamina bar that that has blood pressure bar. longer. Yeah, Jesus Christ! I'm <laughs> telling you everything, dude. Everything. Your 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 fear level. Your yeah everything. <laughs> yeah. Your, your stress. Side. Everything. Yeah yeah exactly yeah. You have a twitch in your eye. You got to go. <laughs> oh, let's go to the doctor. Fix this shit. <laughs> This game has everything. We're back, guys, and we're going. Are we back, guys, or we're good, guys? We are. Did I say bad? Did you say. You always, it always sounds like you say we're bad, guys. So we are bad, I guys. Think, yeah, so. You know like, what? Oh, we're the renegades then. I guess we're not paragons. There is a line in the game that Arthur Morgan says to a woman that they save from bad guys. Uh-huh. She, He literally says, it's actually a pretty cool line. We are bad guys, man, but we're not them. And I'm like, nice. Oh, yeah, nice. yeah, it's it's an it's a great it's a great guy. Seriously, you gotta even play this game. Yeah, <laughs> just, yeah. I mean, yeah, you should really should. Honestly, I, I, oh, the more I hear about it, the more I see the gears and the stuff like that. I'm like, why am I not playing this it's, game? Yeah, it is a slow. This is my my only issue. I think with you is that was exactly what I mentioned. I know we're we're repeating ourselves here, but no, it's, fine. it's a it's essentially a long. You play in chunks. Yeah, yeah. Well, those chunks are not enough. Is yeah. what I'm trying to say. Uh, you you need have to longer spend. chunks. Yeah. yeah. yeah and yeah. So if you don't have that available, or if you generally don't play that way, you're gonna you're you're not even just if you do three chunks at the very beginning, you're not even out of the intro. Yet. You know what <laughs> I mean? It's like that's not enough. You need to literally. This game requires hours of gameplay. So what you telling me? I should send my wife to see her family at the Dominican Republic, <laughs> and just have a week. Where I can at least get to level two. I need to chapter the, two. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, yeah. Pretty much. That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, guys. News time. The news to abuse. Right? News. Is that what it was? I hope that we never call it that <laughs> because I'm I feel like kidding. we are abused by news. Yeah, we are <laughs> already. Yes, absolutely. In the real time. Yes. Uh, so we got some free games for November. So we are now in November. Let's start with. The games with gold for November. Uh, let's see. The Golden Games. The Golden Game Awards. The Golden Games? No, that's not what we're calling it. Oh, okay. <laughs> the Golden Girls. I don't even have it up here. I saw. Uh, okay. Oh, shit. No, don't yeah. tell me you're not ready because I'm not ready. Uh, okay, I can start if you... I mean, I don't have the games, but you already started with that part. So... I can't believe I'm reading this. <laughs> what? What What did you see? The game Battlefield was- 1. Okay, that's what it is. I was just like, am I reading this right? The <laughs> Battlefield not- 5 is going to come no. out? <laughs> I was like, I, I literally, I was like, it's I like- must be having a stroke because I'm not seeing this right. <laughs> There's no way. No, I'm like, that's how bad that game that's is going to do. That's how bad the pre-orders are. It's like... We'll give it to you for we're free. just gonna give it to them. <laughs> let's, let's, let's just hand it out. We'll try to make up something on microtransactions. <laughs> oh wait, there's no microtransactions. Oh wait, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, they are, they are actually. The, it's, it's, it's said there's gonna be no microtransactions. On uh, what? On Battlefield One. Uh, Battlefield Five. Oh, but no. The, well, they uh, they're cosmetics. Oh, they're already okay, confirmed. Okay, yeah. Okay. Those okay. are microtransactions yeah, still. Okay. They, yeah. They make it up on the back end, right? Yeah. So no. Battlefield EA, One. Remember, uh, it's EA. Sorry, go no, ahead. <laughs> you're fine. Battlefield One will be available for free for Xbox Live uh, owners. And I bought that game for five bucks the other day. Yes, <laughs> literally <laughs> for five bucks. I bought five bucks. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And it was directly. It was directly from Origin. It was not a, 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 like a gray market. Jesus. Key, okay. Key, uh, key. That's because they knew. They knew. This is why they. Well, they want up. to get you excited about the next one, so they want True. to play in the you yeah, know the, makes the last sense. one. Yeah. Or make you overdo it with Battlefield right before. Or exactly. <laughs> yeah. Be like, oh, I already have my field. That game is going to be I available all month long. And then the other game that they have is Flippy Flies Race the Sun. Oh, they. Oh, wait a minute. Race the, race the Sun? R- yeah, Race the Sun. That's I've, that weird spaceship I've into played the sun. Race game, the yeah. Sun. Yeah, it, yeah it's, I, it's. It high. was kind of simplistic. Yeah, yeah it's kind of simplistic. But it's not bad. Honestly, it's not a terrible game. It's not like an Astro Flu or anything like that. It is. It's fun for like five minutes. 
<laughs> I think that's exactly the length of time that I played it. <laughs> oh, you played five it too? Bit. Oh, yes. I have it on PlayStation 4. Oh, there you go. And yeah, uh, five, about five, maybe ten. I was like, maybe oh, ten, yeah. Is, maybe two races. Yeah. This is not bad. This is entertaining. Turned it off, yeah. move on to something else. Yeah. It should have been a mobile game. It probably was yeah. <laughs> at some point. All right, and that's for Xbox One, guys. For Xbox 360, Ubisoft's very first Assassin's Creed. Oh, my goodness. They're going to give you the good one now. <laughs> yeah, from November 1st to November 15th. And then... With Dan- an XP booster. <laughs> the, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, and uh, Dante's Inferno will be for the second half. Oh, wow. That, 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 I, I regret not playing that game. Not because I heard it was like great or anything like that, but it was one of those... You remember back in the days where there used to be B-tier games and, and, and companies like... Uh, well, shit. Did like, you say uh, B-tier? B. Yeah, B tier, yeah. not triple A. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. your B, your T- THQs, your THQs, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. That that those are, exactly those are the type of games where it's I remember Dante's Inferno being I'll well received yeah. and uh, very God of War like. A lot of people compared it yeah. to. Yeah. And uh, I never played it though. Very graphic, also. Very graphic, yeah. Well, yeah. God of War like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> uh, all right, so now to the PlayStation lineup. Uh, the first game is going to be the first person shooter. Bullet Storm Full Clip Edition, which, if I'm not mistaken, includes Duke Nukem, doesn't it? That is, <laughs> yes. I, I, okay, so this is a okay. This game is this game is a it's a good shooter. It it it, it is it, it it on a world of shooters. This game has original gameplay for shooting mm-hmm. and for and for killing. It was really fun. There is not a part of me that understands. How did this game not sell as well as it should have originally? And I'm talking about the original. I, I can this is a remake. The no, yeah, yeah. This is this is. Is it a remake or is it like a? Uh, not a remake. A remaster, sorry, yeah. uh, remaster. A remaster so, yeah. This is a remaster. And but but this game came out originally on uh, X on Xbox 360 and and, 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 yeah. and PS3 era. PS3, yeah. <laughs> and it was dude. It was it was it was fun. It was actually like it had this. Uh, is this a cliff? Blazinski, no. almost. Okay. It was. It was. It was. I was going to say polished by Epic, probably, but it was not. It was not Cliff uh, yeah, Blazinski. P- people was, can fly. Is the if people idea. can fly, which is a like a sub company from uh, from Epic. From Epic, okay. Yeah, that's and, where that's where I saw the connection. Then, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. And they also the people can fly also uh, did uh, painkiller. The first painkiller was. Good. Oh, that, was that them? I think I think so. D- double check this for me. I, I want to make sure I don't have it wrong. But Painkiller, the first one was was really good, and then the rest of the ones were like, oh no, what, no, whatever. But but the thing with this game with with Bulletstorm is that it had a great a great gameplay system where you will have this. It's not a lasso. Yeah, it's like a whip. Fly, yeah. Then you will throw them. You will throw it, and you will. Yes, that's Painkiller. You will, uh, you will grab an enemy. You mm. yank it towards you. The game suddenly goes into slow motion, and you can almost position your character in a way that, depending on how you're positioned, that's the vector of attack that you that you have. So you can like kick him towards some thorns, for example, and they will like like die like horribly. And <laughs> the thorns, point of it, okay. the, yeah, yeah, mm. like big plants with thorns or electricity, let's say, or something like that. It was very fun to kill on that game. Uh, and and and, and uh, I like I really enjoyed it. The only problem was that the character was not likable at all because it was going to way much of a juvenile humor. Mm-hmm. Bullet which Storm. the reason, yeah, yeah. yeah Bullet yeah. Storm. Uh, the, the probably the reason why Dunuke ended up in this. In, in, in it this w- match. fits perfectly in the world. Fits, yeah, yeah, has, yeah. They had a lot of like dick jokes and bad dick jokes. I mm-hmm. mean, like uh, like literally. I think the term. Dick tits. I heard the first Jesus time Christ. I heard okay. that the term dick tits was in this game. It was coined from this was, game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was pretty terrible. I, I, that that far. But the gameplay is great. And I will actually invite you to get it and play it a little bit. I'll tag it. You I might mean, yeah, yeah, I'll tag it. I you mean, might I, like I will, it. Just because they're free, I will definitely uh, tag it. No, anyway. no, but it, it, like if you have nothing else to play, you just want to like get because it's not like long or anything like that. If you just want to have Dude, some I, fun. I went through my list of PlayStation. I have tagged a lot of freaking games. I yeah, ran into... I have Mafia 3 in there, and I'm going, the hell how in the hell did I get the, Mafia 3? I know, right? It's like, <laughs> like when in the... Why did I, come on, I man. don't know. Uh, the, other, the other game for PlayStation 4 this week, uh, this excuse me, this month, 
Yakuza Kiwami, uh, the action oh, adventure from Sega. Go ahead and tag that one too. <laughs> uh, I think I might not. <laughs> oh, I just tag Mafia. You don't tag the, this. This one. Will... I don't recall tagging Mafia. <laughs> I really think <laughs> I might. I might have been drunk, drunk tagging that. Just like, <laughs> oh yeah, what the hell? If that, if this was shit, I hope I didn't pay for it. <laughs> oh, Jesus <yeah>. Christ. <laughs> I have your, bought stupid shit while I've been drink. drinking, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's like, oh, hey, they have it for eight bucks. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad, I'm telling you. <laughs> wait, wait. If <laughs> that's true, I love it. It's true. Uh if you if this if this would have been Yakuza Zero, then I would with a straight face I would tell you, tag it and play it. Cause because Yakuza Zero had a really good story and it was an original story. But Kiwami is the remake of the first of the one, first one which, which I've already played. Yeah, which yeah. you already played. <laughs> so. And uh, it's better. It's, it's better, but it's still a True. remake. True. Uh, let's see. The rest of November PlayStation Plus lineup consists of Jackbox Party Pack 2, which includes uh, Bidiots, Bomb Corp, Earwax, Fibbage 2, and Quiplash Fibbage. XL. Fibbage. And Arquito Series, uh, which is a three vintage style game, Jump Swap and Pixel. For PlayStation 3 and Burly Man at Sea and Roundabout for PlayStation Vita because uh, Vita still lives out there somehow. Uh, and then finally, <laughs> for Vita, still have any? Yeah, I think that's it. That's all they have. It. And finally, yeah, that's it. <laughs> the Vita games are cross uh, cross buy compatible with PlayStation 4. So uh, Burly Man at Sea and Roundabout will also be available for PlayStation nice, 4. Yeah. Nice, so. all right. Well, I I ca- this this saw uh, this uh, piece of news that I have is kind of like almost. Uh, breaking or it happened recently enough where I was gonna leave it for 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 last, but I'm I'm gonna go ahead and start with it, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna include it all into one encompassing thing, which okay. is BlizzCon is happening. Yes, right now. So, think, yeah. so so there have been some announcements. If you were excited about Diablo Four, then you're gonna be disappointed because it was not announced. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah. Internet would have shut down. You're <laughs> going to have to wait a bit longer for Diablo 4 because the next Diablo game is actually Diablo Immortal, which was announced today at BlizzCon. It is a phone game <laughs> that Blizzard says is coming soon. So it is said during the 20 years between Diablo 2 and Diablo 3, Diablo Immortal will tell the story about Tyr- Tyrael, uh, Decker Kane. And other familiar franchise characters. Uh, it looks exact, exactly like Diablo 3, except it has touch controls. Now, they say, uh, don't worry, Diablo 4 is still coming. In a, in a blog post two weeks ago, Blizzard's, uh, Blizzard all but said uh, as much, telling fans the highly anticipated Diablo 3 sequel will not be this year at this year's convention. And then the quote was, We're very, uh, these are very exciting times. We currently have multiple teams working on different Diablo projects, and we can't wait to tell you about them. Nice. Uh, when the time is right, uh, when the time is right, uh, the company said. We know that many of you are. We, we the, the beer is kicking in already. <laughs> this <laughs> is not for like. no joke. We know that many of you are hoping for, and we can say, we can only say that good things come for those who wait, but evil things often take longer. Mm. Uh, so we that are, means it is coming. Just it is coming. It bit. is coming. We appreciate your patience as our teams work tirelessly to create na- nightmarish experiences worthy of the Lord of Terror. So yes, if you are excited about the possible uh, about the chance to play uh, Diablo on on phone, phone, and why not? I mean, I I, I say like, oh, this is garbage, and I. And I Technically meant it, yeah. but in reality, you kind of want it. But in reality, real. in reality, I, I want Diablo Four, but I'm cool. I'm, I'm cool with this, and it probably it probably play you know pretty, pretty well. well. This, yeah. this, this, this is Blizzard. I have no doubt uh, that they can do something special. So speaking of something special, or I don't know how special this is, but it's cool. It's cool. You can now pick Destiny Two for PC for free this month. <laughs> Literally yes. for free. Uh, the it just needs to happen on Xbox, and everybody has Destiny. And everybody has Destiny too, <laughs> yeah. because by God, we need the, we need you to buy the expansion. Yes, we want people to play Forsaken. I swear, to we fixed it. <laughs> yeah. This the real exactly the real version mm-hmm. of, the, of Destiny Two. To celebrate the first year of Destiny Two being available on PC, Blizzard is allowing fans to redeem the base game on Battle.net for free for a limited time. 
uh, the PC version of Destiny 2, which is available on the Blizzard's Battle.net service, will be available as a gift from November 2nd to November 18th. And that is really cool. It goes into some more, but honestly, what is there more to say? You already, if PS4, PSN owners have... PS Plus. PS yeah. Plus mm-hmm. owners should probably... Already have it. Already yeah. have it. Yeah, yeah. You you include, you, you, you got did, it that way. Yeah. You, you played it. You beat it. it. You had a time. It was fun. You had it. Yeah. You had a time. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was... You know, in Overwatch news that I wish Shadow was here to talk about. Yeah, the next over the next Overwatch hero is Ash or Ash. Ash, yes, uh, leader of the Deadlock Gang. And oh, look, a cowboy chick, a cowgirl <laughs> chick. It's almost like <laughs> what a surprise, you know, releasing. Uh, cowboy related uh, things around the release of Red Dead. How I believe convenient. How convenient, <laughs> yes. exactly. I believe PUBG has some skins that are like, are those cowboys? Yeah, man? they do. You play that, huh? Mm-hmm. huh? That's how it is. <laughs> so yes, Blizzard uh, also today announced uh, the the you know Ashy, uh, the stern and strict gang leader uh, who looks like an absolutely killer. Uh, introduced in the animated short reunion. Ash stands up against Overwatch bounty hunter uh, Jesse McCree. Of course, they were of course. That, you know, in a five worthy also known as John Marston. <laughs> also known as John Marston. Yes. <laughs> Check out the next part. In a fight worthy of Red Dead Redemption Two. Oh my goodness! Only with robots. <laughs> There's not much to say about that. I haven't really looked into the the trailer or or the or the fighting style. I would imagine that it's some sort of. Uh, Derivative of McCree, but original because all those characters play oh, very completely original, different. Yeah. You know, have you played Overwatch since uh, I've played any of the new characters? So the last time I, I did, I've played the Overwatch since the last character release. Uh, I only played it once. I played it with a uh, you know group of people, and it was enjoyable. But I was a liability, and I told them early on, <laughs> you know, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm Don't a liability with- here, but. <laughs> I, I I am happy that you allow me to, <laughs> to join you guys <laughs> and embarrass myself. <laughs> cover cover me on everything. There is there is a YouTube video uh, that that you can see uh, her move. So mm-hmm. and to be honest, she does that. I, I like her design. She looks cool. yeah yeah. She looks very cool. Uh, she, yeah. she looks cool. Definitely. So so there you go. Now uh, something I'm particularly very excited to hear about. Uh, uh, from from BlizzCon, and no, it's not the World Warcraft uh, classic servers. Even though that is happening, the classic servers, the one that lets you yeah, play to play the original. Uh, the original World of Warcraft without uh, as it was as it as it was released, you know, basically those those are coming. Those are happening. You can play for an hour only, which I'm like, really, an hour? But I believe the reason is because. Obviously, it's just going to be a couple servers, maybe one or or a couple blades. They a lot of people want to try this, and I also feel like a lot of people just want to see. Oh, this is what it looks like. Okay, well, yeah, I remember why it got changed. (laughs) Exactly. Like I feel like it sounds great in theory. In theory, it sounds like yeah, we want classic servers, but do you really? (laughs) Do you really really think about it, guys? Yeah, Yeah, exactly, exactly. So. I'm just going to throw that out there that if you're a World of Warcraft fan and you are interested on in seeing how the... It, it, I feel... I think it's cool that it's happening. But I'm just saying, I don't think this is the type of... That you're not going to stick to it. Unless you're a very hardcore player. I don't know. Maybe you are tired of what World of Warcraft have become. Super casual, super easy to level up, super like 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 almost mindless to do a, a lot of things because, of course, they want to reach the maximum of our audience you need something that speaks to your hardcore heart <laughs> and you need to go back to when world of warcraft was good yeah, <laughs> and yeah. whatever else yeah, <laughs> that people say so yeah i'm not about that but i am about something that is related to uh to world of warcraft and that is actually the game that came before it in the lore warcraft 3 warcraft 3 reforge is what it's calling it what they're calling it is the HD remaster of that classic. Now, for those who don't know, Warcraft 3 and the original Warcraft series before World of Warcraft was an RTS game, a very good one. For its time. For its 
time. Well, well let me I'm put sure it... RTSs have come a long way since. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah we got Starcraft. Yeah, but if you could play a, a remaster, a remaster of this sounds very exciting. I guess yeah, because that would have some up, upgrades. And there, I'm I, sure, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I, and I, and I'll tell you why. There is not a lot of um, how you call it, uh, quality of life that you can do with those things. Yeah, you can make uh, uh, some things like easier, mm -hmm. but it was never super hard to do to begin with and you probably don't want to mess up with the formula because these games are are games that are being played on the esports scene mm -hmm. from time to time same thing that when they when they uh when they remastered a starcraft the original one they did starcraft one but they didn't suddenly make the characters move oh i sound better now thank yes, you, you. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> uh, they didn't they didn't make the characters move as you know full 60 frames per second give them extra extra sprites of of uh, animations or anything like that mm -hmm. they basically made it you know a uh, wider screen and and they gave you uh, uh cleaner visuals okay but it was still the same game yeah so i feel like this is th this is that this is that treatment and if that is what it is it's awesome because i've been wanting to play that game again because i really like now there is a story that is very interesting is the story of arthas And how this wonderful your son of, of the his, this wonderful prince, you know, it's, it's his turn into what eventually he becomes. It's it basically this, it was almost the story of Darth Vader here, mm. except that you see it from he's not you don't see it from a kid. You see, it's, he's a young, uh, I mean, he's a young uh, paladin already. That through his carelessness and who's free, you know, free, he makes some decisions that are not the best ones, and little by little. He he is turning, and he turns into the one of the greatest villains that this game, this lore has has have, which is Arthur. Uh, you know the 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 Arthur, the Frostborn Arthur's, mm -hmm. where he is. You know he is he is literally. I was gonna say he's cold. Well, literally, because yeah. he has he he got the he the sword the, uh... Frost Frost uh, Frostborn, and everything everything around it has to do with coldness. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> Spoiler alert for those who don't who don't know, but he ends up killing his his father. He goes to. He, I he, know this. I think I've heard this story before. Be, yeah, yeah, because okay. th th it's one of those moments in game in gaming that that leaves you breathless when it happens. It's like what? Maybe I don't know if he holds. It's like the death of 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 Aerith, uh, Final Fantasy VII. You know, mm. it's one of those things that you're like, I can't believe this happened. Yeah, and he comes in, and this is a guy that was so good, you know, so good hearted. And end up killing his dad, and end up destroying the the kingdom, and end up you know bringing a a reign of darkness on it. And it is a really good lore. It, it, Warcraft has one of the best lores on it, uh, on you know on, on games. And I'm very excited to replay those events again. Okay. So to hear that that this game is coming now, uh, it's launching on 2019. Okay. He said it will have totally remodeled characters and environments. It will also it will also bring back the belo the beloved modding world editor tool, which led to other popular games, including League of Legends and Dota. Okay. Dota yeah. was born out of it was a it was a Warcraft 3 mod, and now, and you know what it is right now. So there's some people that can play the demo at the show uh, at the show floor. Uh, the demo includes the Call of Stratul home home. Oh, I remember that mission. Which is an important moment in the Warcraft 3 storyline. I will be right there uh, when this game is released because, again, I was very impressed. I like RTS games. Mm -hmm. I, I love like one of my uh, Starcraft is one of my favorite games. <laughs> so, but 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 the, but this particular game also I recognize is really good. This game focused a little bit too much on hero units, so I didn't like the fact that you have. Of all the units that you were building, you had out this one unit that you that you always had to like micromanage, and and he was your the most strong the strongest unit that you have. So it, it kind of made the other units almost irrelevant, I want to say, but not completely because all the other units will protect your hero. Gotcha. Uh, but yeah, yeah, looking forward to this, man. That sounds pretty good, man. We have some news, uh, some more news from Sony. Sony announced the full 20 game lineup What? for its PlayStation Classic. <clears throat> Excuse oh, me. Oh yeah, that came out this week. Yes, it did. Okay, yes, uh, I've, I've been meaning to. I wanted. I wanted to talk about this. Yes, yeah. absolutely. PlayStation Classics games list for North America includes a variety of genres, including two G, 2D 
action games, Japanese role-playing games, and puzzle games. So here's a full list for the Americas uh, launch, North America. Mm -hmm. Battle Arena Toshiden. Yes. Cool Borders 2. Destruction yes. Derby. Yes. Final Fantasy VII, which we had already known. Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto? <clears throat> yep, Grand well, Theft Auto. Wait. Oh, with the Grand Theft Auto on this one will be the original the top down. Yep. Okay, yeah. yeah, not Grand Theft Auto 3. No. Nope. Grand Theft Auto. Oh, wow. Okay. Intelligent cool. Cube. Jumping don't Flash. That. Don't remember that one. Metal Gear Solid. They uh -huh. actually secured that one. <laughs> they needed to, it needed they to happen. Needed to, yeah, because yeah. they didn't do it. They would have been a waste. Mr. Driller. Mm -hmm. uh, Odd World's Abe's Odyssey. Cool. Rayman. Resident Rayman Evil, good. the director's cut. Oh, nice. Revelations Persona. What? Revelations Persona. Really? Yeah. yeah. Ridge Racer Type 4. Super, uh, Super Mario, you hear me? <laughs> Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. Siphon Filter, Tekken 3. Siphon Filter. Yeah. Yeah. I've been, I've been wanting a Siphon Filter to come back and to play the original. I don't know. Tom Clancy's the Rainbow Six. Game. Twisted Metal and Wild Arms. Wild Arms is another one there. That sounds pretty. But yeah. I think they had already announced that one before. Yeah. All right. Uh, so before you go to the Japanese one, a uh, couple of, of things. I feel like some of those games would have benefited. Uh, well, a lot of these games would have benefited from whatever you're about to say. <laughs> well, no, I was yeah. gonna say the second, the second, the, yeah, the instead second. of the first one, because like Twisted Correct. Metal, for example. Oh yeah, Twisted Metal first one was was almost like a test bed of how do we do this. Yeah, and then Twist, Twisted Metal two was the best one. Yeah, Battle Arena Toshiden. I was like, okay, so that was the one that, if I'm not mistaken, came with the PlayStation. Like it was a, almost like a. Was it almost like a launch? Maybe it was bundled with it. Para Arena Toshina? No. Am I, no. am I thinking the wrong one? Okay, no, maybe I think the wrong one. I, I, I just, uh, that game, I was just like, really? I don't think that was... Okay. That game came out later on. I, Tekken Tag Tournament, I'm surprised that is not... The, yeah, but Tekken 3. Is, no, wait. Is, is, Tekken Tag Tournament... Was 2. Wasn't that 2? I thought that was 2. Tekken 2, wait, Tekken Tournament. Tekken 2... Yeah, so yeah. why is that? Why that should have been the uh, the uh, oh shit! I need to we need to go back to see what the, the original. Oh, oh, maybe no, we don't. Yeah, no. Tekken three and Tekken three was actually a good one. That's actually one of my favorite ones. So, so Tekken Tag Tournament, which is the second one, was actually I think really I uh, think that's really my favorite. Received, yeah. yeah, Super Puzzle Fighter two. I was like, really well, okay <laughs> if you say so. Um, yeah, Resident Evil because Resident Evil's where because Res it needed, it needed uh, Rayman is actually a good one. I, I, I actually uh, Metal Gear Solid yeah. is a must. If they didn't have that one, they basically wasted their time. Grand Theft Auto though, I'm like Grand Theft Auto three was on this console, wasn't it? Or was that no? Pla oh, that was PlayStation two. Oh, yeah, right. I also okay, thought okay. the same thing. Oh, I was like, okay, okay, okay. I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, so. it almost feels like when you look at the graphic, you're thinking like, oh man, that's PlayStation uh, one, right? No, that's that's PlayStation. PlayStation. That's early PlayStation two. Okay, so, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, there's some outliers here. There's some stuff that's missing. Yeah, yeah you know what can I, mean? I mention one? Sure. Where's Tony Hawk? The oh, to I can tell you where Tony Hawk is. Locked behind a bunch of licenses. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Though. Licenses. I hear the, yeah, the music. Like, I hear oh, you though. Man. That is a missing piece. That is most definitely. That is, dude. I most modded definitely. my 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 place. I your PlayStation to have a copy of that game. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, that that's actually yeah, that's definitely a missing one, and I agree. But to this this console, which by the way is it's ninety nine dollars, would have cost way more for them to get all that music the in license, there. And and yeah. then here's the deal: you have two options. You either Pay for all the licensed music, uh -huh. up the price of the console, mm -hmm. or pay for all the music that wasn't in the original game and piss oh, everybody yeah. off. You and know what I mean? So, yeah. Or have no music, which would have been worse. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah <laughs> that would have no. been disgusting. Yeah. Just like, yeah. Throw the skateboard. So, I wanted to quickly go through some of the Japanese uh, ones that are, I mean, it's. So it, it pisses me off because there's one that's coming to the Japanese console. I, know, like, I think I know which one you're oh, talking about, but go ahead. So, Absolutely. all right. So, the ones that, that stick out, they're going to get Ark the Lad and Ark the Lad 2. That's That Wait, seems a little bit that's harsh. too many yeah, Ark the Lad. I'm like, okay. It's a good game, but... Yeah. Ar Armored Core, uh, Devil Dice. I don't remember Devil Dice. The, me either. G. Darius. Darius Gaiden. Okay. Or Gaiden. Those are... Those are very Japanese, yeah. Yeah. Parasite Eve, dude. Oh, that's the one. <laughs> that's the one dude, I knew it. Yep. I am so frustrated that it's not coming out to this particular one. I'm so frustrated they haven't been new Parasite Eve. The, yeah, well, that's a whole different frustration. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying, this is like teasing me going, yes. so you're telling me I have to get the Japanese <laughs> one. Is what you're telling me. Okay, fine. Saga, Saga Frontier. And that's it. Everything else is the same. That's, uh, so, but, but it's actually heavy on the RPG. 
Yes, Japanese version uh, is very big on role playing games and side scrolling mm-hmm. uh, shoot 'em ups, which a lot of these are, which we don't know. That, that was oh yeah, Darius yeah. is uh, shoot 'em. That's yeah. that's what I was thinking. Yeah, it's like our type almost. Correct, correct. Yeah. yeah. So ah, uh, I don't know. So you said there was a couple of our li- yeah. I wanted I wanted Legacy of King. Soul Reaver. <laughs> I just want Soul Reaver. Damn it! <laughs> Give me Soul Reaver. Uh, oh, oh. God, that's such a good game, dude. And that's and that's a criminally underplayed game, dude. And yeah, it was amazing like it for its time. Um, I feel like where's Xeno Saga? Xeno. Oh, the Xeno Saga series. I think that that's Nintendo now. That's that, Nintendo, yeah. yeah. Oh, almost. that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why you it's a it. shame. It's a shame. Um, yeah. a lot, I, I did read a lot of people going, where is Spyro? Where is Crab? I'm like, hello, they've been remastered. Why will we redo this? Yeah, so, nobody's going to play this <laughs> version. Come yeah, on. Exactly. Where's Crash Bandicoot? Yeah, Crash Bandicoot is also remastered. Crashy B is yeah. already out there, guys. Crashy so, yeah. B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, we're on a first name basis. Sounds, Don't do- sounds like a Spice Girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the, the heroin addict one. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. And just to uh, piggyback off that, we got to see the new medieval uh, trailer for oh, PlayStation yeah. 4. Did you get to see a trailer? I got to see it. I don't know if you saw it. I wasn't that interested. In so what's funny about was. that, I was the same because I was like, uh, I'm not, you know, Crashy B, uh, I'm kind of crashy. interested in, you know what I mean? <laughs> I want to play it. I want to get it, but for some reason I haven't got around to buying it, but. <laughs> And Spyro, I'm not interested in it at all. <laughs> Medieval was kind of in the middle. Not as bad as Spyro, because I just didn't like Spyro. Mm. But Medieval was like, oh, well, maybe. Yeah, I guess that would be cool to have that again. And then I see the trailer of the remake, and I'm going, okay, I think, I think I'm a little more interested than I yeah. thought I was going to be, you know? My only thing is, why there were two medievals. Why is only one being poured here? Hello, <laughs> the Crash Crash Bandicoot is three games. Spyro is three games. What <laughs> what what is it with medieval? You know what I mean? They picked out the best one, maybe the best version. The uh, well, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know anything about medieval. So the yeah, well, I mean, it's <laughs> a, a very game of an incorrect way of saying this. It would be. <laughs> I think you can actually find it out there. People call it the the PlayStation One Dead Soul, uh, Dead Cells, no Dead Cells, uh, Dark Souls, Dark <laughs> Souls PlayStation yeah. One Dark Souls <laughs> really? with humor. Yeah, yeah. Really? Uh, that was the that was uh, somebody mentioned there, which was pretty wow. funny. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I guess that it makes sense. Yeah, exactly. And my final piece of news, I, I'm just going to throw this out there. Henry Cavill has presented himself as Geralt, the Witcher. Oh, yes. yes. He has, hasn't he? Yes, he did. Through all the hate and the memes of the internet, because the, the internet is cruel the and internet evil. is freaking cruel, dude. I got to tell you, <laughs> I, I don't hate it. I just, I can tell it's early. It's without special <laughs> effects. It's without, you know, it's without the proper place for it. But he's got to look a little grimier, man. It's just he looks it's, too clean. What if, yeah. what if this is a younger version of Gerald? Maybe you remember no, no, Gerald from mean, I don't three. Mean, I don't mean older. Uh-huh. I mean grimier. I mean like Games of Thrones. Games well, of Thrones characters look like you, they haven't bathed. You in a start. Of you start Witcher three taking a bath. What is so hard to believe that yeah, maybe he's and just that's clean the first and bath and last for the three hundred hours that I played it. So. The rest of the time, he's grimy, oh, you dude. Forgot, you <laughs> forgot to take a shower. You, you can't admit <laughs> that this, man. Yeah, Come I on. know. I know. <laughs> uh, what would you think, sir, of the, uh, the... Did you see the video, the, the promotional no, video? I, I didn't see the video. I saw I, I saw the multiple... Uh, images? Images, and I have a problem with it. Honestly, it, it does... I know what you mean. It does look a little too clean. Yeah. I get that, and I believe that... And it's also... A, I don't want to say it's a promotional shot, but it's, it's definitely... It's meant to just say, hey... Check it hey, out. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. I mean? So it's not this really is not a shot be, from, the, from the movie and I can, or the show. And, and maybe they can they can digitize the stubbles the, no. <laughs> instead of removing the mustache. <laughs> they can, I hope they don't do that because that goes the entire budget of, of the Netflix series <laughs> just in stubble. No, no. But I, I, looking at it, it got me. It, it got me from like. Not really caring much about uh, a, a oh, no. to okay, I'm interested now. I've, it doesn't look bad. I have been interested me. in it ever since they announced it. Yeah, this has not deterred it in any way. I still want to see what they're going to bring to the table. Um, I have relative, you know, relatively moderate 
faith yeah. <laughs> in Netflix uh, for them to deliver a, a you know a good series. <laughs> and um, so we'll see. We'll see. I'm still. I'm still. And again, he's still a good actor. He still he can still do what needs to be done. Yeah. I don't know about any of the other actors because they're all new, which is actually way better. That could be because good, sometimes yeah. you know these are these are uh, what do you call them diamonds in the rough that yeah. you don't even realize. Holy crap! This person's going to be amazing. Yeah. Stranger Things, perfect example of that. Just saying. So, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, well, it, so <laughs> you you kind of finished up on on the pieces of news kind of early. I still have a few, so I'm gonna just throw them out there. One piece that I saw it and I was like, oh man, this is extremely cool. I don't own this game, but if I did, they will have my money on the season pass because this is awesome. And I bet you already know what it is. No. Uh, huh? <laughs> no. No? Mm. Oh, well, let me tell you. Let me tell you that uh, Soul Calibur 6, second guest character, is. Oh, yes. Your hat. Your hat number two, type B, also known as 2B. 2B. <laughs> yes. From Square Enix action role playing game, Near Automata. Uh, one That's of my a perfect favorite games that to that game. Dude, it is yeah, so. Perfect. It is so perfect. She already has a, a, she has a, a sword. sword yep. This this fights supposedly this, this fights are, are endless through time, or, or so so does the lore of Soul Calibur goes. Yeah. You know? Although sometimes it goes into the ridiculous because uh, hello, you fight Darth Vader, you fight Yoda on other versions. You don't fight I mean. Yoda. You just swing over his you head. You swing over. <laughs> 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 so, but no, but but in this one, like they already, hey, they have Girl of Rivia. Yeah. Already in Soul Calibur Six, yeah. it's enough to be like. And that and that's another character that is perfect. It's perfect fit. It's awesome. Now I can pit Carol of Rivia against two B, <laughs> and it's come. It's almost like okay, you play as Carol, I play as two B. Let's clear this once and for all. Which one is the better game? It's gonna be best out of three matches. Best out of- <laughs> that's what it is, dude. I am when I saw, especially I. Love the. Uh, have you seen? The, no, you haven't seen the trailer, right? Or have you seen? Oh, to, uh, to be, yeah. Oh, uh, the trailer. Oh, yeah, to yeah. be on that. That dude. That trailer is super cool. Honestly, I, I, as as I'm saying it, I'm going. Uh-huh. Why didn't I guess this? Of course, he's <laughs> thinking. Dude, I well, I I I am a huge fan of Nier Automata, and just seeing that it, it just seeing her fight on 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 Soul Calibur. Like, it, like I was almost trying to justify myself getting it, but it, except that it's a fighting game at the end. Of, I heard that it has a very good single player the, uh, and very yeah. elaborate, very well, elaborate. At this point, any fighting game without a single player is incomplete. Is, is done, yeah. yeah, it's if not it was, even gonna, it's not gonna survive. Yeah. Yeah. So Nick this, actually has the game and Soul Calibur Six. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit! Don't worry. Don't worry. And let me I tell you. That. Let me tell you a little weird story, guys. All right. All right. <laughs> so for whatever reason, he got, he got it for his birthday because his birthday was last week uh-huh. and. So on that Saturday, he's with his friends, and we're all in the living room. We're all just kind of hanging out, talking, and, and they're playing. And I don't know where they put in the, the Soul Calibur Six, And suddenly, they, one of his friends goes, hey, did you see the character with the big schlong? And I was like, yeah, I know. That's crazy that they're doing it. And then all of a sudden, there's like this long pause. And they go... Let's see if we can find him. <laughs> <laughs> and then we spent literally 45 minutes looking for a character. To be fair, we found a lot of interesting characters. There was Ninja Turtles out there. There was oh, yeah, there was some oh, Okami was out there. Yes, <laughs> dude, I saw I saw uh, a uh, what's it what's the name? What's the fish from Pokemon? The because there oh, was, it was yes, there. Yes, I actually posted it onto the group. Oh yeah, yeah the way, where because when he does his move where he kind of like bends, bends over backwards. a little bit in a way. Yeah, it looks like the looks gosh, like I forgot the name of the fish, but um, I yes, it's it a looked Pokemon just, fish. Yeah. But that dude, is amazing that they were able to. People do that. have some creative like cre- oh my Absolutely. god. So, so yes, we didn't find that guy. What <laughs> we did find was another guy wearing a strap on. <laughs> which was close enough close enough yeah <laughs> well and, and of course we made it safe so that nick can have it there the whole time <laughs> <laughs> nice. and of course he's like no don't save that <laughs> don't save that and boom <laughs> no, he's, he's yeah. sword fighting yeah, indeed he's sure sword fighting <laughs> let me tell you you guys don't know no uh, well you, you might have a, a, a harder time finding this character because now uh namco is actually banning those uh, characters. Players. Oh, yeah. play, oh, okay. Yeah. Play, the player for playing online. If they create that, if they create characters like that, which if is they like, create it or if they use them, 
I think it's the creator. Okay. Yeah. Because you can't really blame if if you use I mean if you already if it's already out there like <laughs> waggling his schlong. Let me tell you. It's <laughs> it's quite the sight, my friend. <laughs> it's just like wow. wow. And now yeah. and now putting well no. <laughs> it's we're done with Soul Calibur. <laughs> yes, moving on, guys. Moving, moving on. you know, moving on. Uh let me see what was the other thing that I that, that I wanted to say that oh uh Spider Man is coming to PC. Nice. Oh no, wait, hold on. I read that wrong. Sorry. Yeah, I think you did. Yeah, sorry, sorry, <laughs> my bad, my bad. Sunset Overdrive oh, is coming to yes. PC. The prequel. <laughs> the prequel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, actually, nothing has been announced officially, but leaks. W- yes. Not yeah, not something. Uh, originally, there was a leak uh, from uh, kind of like an ESRB like play somewhere. Well, now the actual a rating board. A rating board. Yeah. yeah. Well, now the actual ESRB <laughs> has also rated it. Yes, also rated it. So, uh, the, you know that Xbox has that event that they're having that X. Oh yes, X One or whatever X, it is that's X called. X O One Eight or X One. Yeah, we heard that that's happening. So there's a. I mean, that's a very good chance that that's where they're going to show. Yeah, uh, what they're going to show. Of course, yeah. Uh, that's so, their product. Yeah, and to be honest, I, well, I wonder, will it be? published by microsoft or would it be published by like a third party because believe it or not that ha- that happened remedy with remedy you could actually buy it on steam now because i believe so wait so who owns the ip though well the ip is owned by uh insomnia insomnia yeah so why wouldn't they just bring that over to PlayStation I think 4? Don't, get, don't quote me on that i was gonna say I if think. it's owned by Insomnia, they could just bring it over to playstation 4 what's what's the hold up that is and they would probably sell way better that is true so it's probably it's so probably, it's probably not gonna be a, yeah it's probably no, microsoft, I'm, yeah. I'm thinking more in this, if, if it's for pc then you gotta think well is it coming to steam or is it gonna be locked to uh microsoft? windows with microsoft yeah. the microsoft stuff? i would probably say I, that yeah yeah i yeah. personally personally i don't have a problem with it even though i have had my share of problems with the microsoft store I I uh, I had to re-download Forza Horizon because at some point it just stopped coming up for some reason. I don't know what it did. Yeah. Uh, but then I re-downloaded it and it was fine. But it's like, why? Why not fix whatever the problem is? Why do I have to re-download the whole thing? In, with Steam, you can say, oh, just review the files and whatever is broken, just fix it. If you need, if you ever need to, that is, you know, it's good that uh, that that option. But anyway, uh, I personally have no issue if it's just for the Windows Store, but I would prefer if it's also available also on Steam, Steam. and some other uh, we'll see. venues. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, hold my breath on that. But yeah, 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 yeah. We'll see that. So kind of, kind of excited on, on, on that. That oh, there was some some talk about Marvel uh, developing uh, f- uh, f- uh, a Falcon, <laughs> Falcon and Winter Soldier TV series. Oh yes, I heard about this. Yeah, yeah. So uh, please don't. <laughs> just saying. Please don't. All right, then I won't say anything. <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying. I'm just Marvel, Disney, whoever the head of Disney is. I know you listen to the show. They w- please yeah. don't. <laughs> please, <laughs> please, please don't. Please. Yeah. What? Why not? No, just, no. just stop. Yeah. No, they, they shouldn't. It's just well, too I'm much, a, man. It's just too much. After I they mean, just canceled yes. uh, Iron Fist and, and Luke Cage Luke for Luke good Cage, freaking yeah. reason. Because <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I didn't see season two of the other of those two, uh-huh. but. They literally canceled it shortly after season two <laughs> of those things. So clearly they didn't they didn't turn the boat around here. No, no. Um, no. But yeah, I'm sorry. Those just were not. Yeah, there. you're right. There's not there's not much to say on that because not much about reporting on it. Uh, honestly, other than hey, then this is Falcon and Winter Soldier. And Winter Soldier, yeah. If you don't use the same actors, I mean, you're wasting time here. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, no, you so, will have to. Yeah, otherwise, so, yeah, otherwise. Yeah. And uh, the, my last piece is just to report that <laughs> it should come as no surprise. Red Dead Redemption 2 sells 725 millions in its first week. <laughs> so Red Dead Redemption had the largest opening weekend of any entertainment product in history, managing to sell through 725 million in copies over just three days. Uh, it's actually the second. Uh, hold on. It's actually the second highest grossing entertainment launch. Although Rockstar won't be too unhappy with that, <laughs> given that the record <laughs> holder 
It's got the bottle five. Oh, come on. I'm sure they'll be fine with that. <laughs> I'm sure Rockstar is okay with that. <laughs> the discrepancy between the biggest opening weekend and the biggest overall launch comes down to the fact that uh, the last GTA was released on a Tuesday. Nice. And I hold on, my page is loading now. Uh, <laughs> given that Grand Theft Auto uh, Five was initially released on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, this means that Red, Red Dead Redemption 2 now holds the record for the largest launch on a console generation. Rockstar Games did not share the exact unit sales for Red Dead Redemption 2, but the sell-through numbers suggest that it'd be more than 10 million. Jeez. Uh, these numbers represent the total sales to customers rather than those from publishers to retailers. So those are sold through. Wow. No, not shipped. <laughs> not shipped too. This is actually sold through. Additionally, Red Dead Redemption 2 had the largest launch sales of any game released on PlayStation Network to date. <laughs> and it was uh, the most pre-ordered game of all time on the PlayStation Network. So yeah, that is... That's incredible. That is incredible. For a game that... It's kind of incredible. It's, yeah, it, it's well deserved. Yes. Well deserved. Uh, I did want to throw one last thing before we jump into the last thing, and that is the Spider Man. You mentioned Spider Man early, although you were talking about yeah. the other game. But Spider Man for the month of September, highest grossing game released to the console, uh, highest grossing exclusive mm. released to the console or PlayStation console. Ever, that's wow. every PlayStation console since the beginning. That's every Gran the, Turismo, the, every, yes, every highest grossing damn. in a month ever from any game. Yeah, Spider Man. That's how good. That's, that's a, a freaking good, good game. And that <laughs> goes that testament GG, to how guys. many players, how many gamers are, are out there. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 absolutely. Especially nowadays. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, uh, stand in, uh, stand by for a moment, and we'll be right back with our hot topic. Good things come for those who wait, but evil things take more time. <laughs> they sure do. That's what that's the Blizzard quote. That is the Blizzard quote, yes. and that works for Blizzard. <laughs> we're back, guys, and we're gonna go right into our hot topic of the week. Hot topic of the week. Hot topic of this week, guys, is the Black Friday. Woo-hoo! We are in November, guys, so that means all the Black Friday deals start now. The, 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 like literally, I I'm know. already getting emails about November Amazon 1st, my friend. Black Friday. I was like, "Are you kidding me?" It's dude. Target already has their <laughs> list of stuff. It's absolutely ridiculous. I do realize that we're doing this probably a little early in the month. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll re- revisit like a little side. Side topic. Later that might on. know about it, about it, uh, about it, yeah. Because I bet there will be stuff that we're gonna be. Oh yeah, I probably will jump on that if you I know. agree. Yeah, I agree. Black Friday. I'm gonna just bring up the. Oh, is this? Uh, yeah, I think this was the Black Friday deals. Let me see. Open here. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Oh no, this is what to expect. So they have they have um some deals. Oh. On Target. Let me bring up the Target one because that's the one that I wanted to show you. Well, it, uh, first of all, let me ask. Mm-hmm. Is there something in particular that you are looking to get on Black Friday? Honestly, I want to fill in some gaps. Fill okay. in some gaps that I missed because uh, I did miss out on a few games. Uh, oh, games. I, okay. I, think, I think Tomb Raider is one of them. Oh, and my God. And if yeah. I'm mistaken, a lot of places <laughs> already have it at 30 freaking dollars. I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That Which game is went down in price. so bad. I feel bad for those early adopters. They're like, what the hell? Dude, Dude they we're are pissed. Not even, we're not even three months away no? from the release date. That should tell you how how, how probably it's <laughs> sold. Bad. And we got some That's fans bad. on the group of you know of the uh, of of the series, me included. I I I like the Tomb Raiders. Uh, the only reason I I skipped on this one immediately was because I was already playing, you know, Spider Man, and then I jumped on on Assassin's Creed. But I would probably, I mean, especially at this price, I will jump into a, a Lara Croft Tomb Raider game. The yeah, I mean, I would probably get it, but I don't see myself playing anytime soon. <laughs> You know, I would get it because it's. I just don't know what else to play. What else to play? 
immediately after you know after, after this one. After I, which one? Like for example, I, I play, let's say I get fired, I get tired and bored, and I'm done with Assassin's Creed. Like <laughs> which is coming. Like soon, yesterday, yeah. yeah, which is coming soon. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, I was like, I was fed up because I missed on <laughs> on a part, and, and, and I I rage quit. I was like, I'm done with this. You know, forget it. This is this this I, I'm. I hate you know I hate the fact that uh, Ubisoft is doing this. Forget it. I shouldn't be playing this. And then I went to the list of my Steam games and I was like, <laughs> man, I already beat the part of House Party that was available. <laughs> I would need to go back and I went back to. As I was Do you understand? And I continue to play that it. you have until dawn. I have The Witcher, sir. And you have The Witcher. Yes, I you have, have although the Witcher. I still think you're not going to play The Witcher. But I forgot that I had Dragon you, Warrior the, actually. Dragon Warrior Eleven. Yeah, you're not gonna play that either. <laughs> I will play Dragon like, Warrior. It's a 120 hour game. You're not gonna play when it. If, no, I will. Play. Fucking lie. <laughs> you know, I will play, I, sir. I, I was been, enjoying it. I've been down this road with you before with The Witcher. Did you? And did just, you know that I played two hours and then by the time that uh that I showed you, you know, I, I think it was after a podcast. I wanted to show it to you, and then you, you looked at it and you said, "This music is terrible." <laughs> And then it I was like, yeah, it's kind of bad. <laughs> and then you left, and I, thinking that I had created a new game, I went ahead and deleted it completely and lost my save. Oh. I deleted my actual save that I was playing, and I'm like, damn it. Yeah, you're not going back. So now I'm going to have to start again. It was <laughs> just two hours, not a big just... deal. I will go back, all right? Yeah, uh, whatever. That game is great. Shut up. Here, here is, okay, this is. So I'm Black not, Friday. I'm going to, yeah, yeah, let's go to Black Friday. For, <laughs> Fuck that other shit. We're going to go to Black Friday. Uh, this is from Target. Guys, Target already, literally already has. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. They have a $200 PS4 Spider-Man bundle. <laughs> oh, shit. That no is, way. my friend, that is a bundle that if you don't have a PlayStation 4, first of all, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> you don't have a PlayStation 4, you are missing out on so much. What if, what if you have an Xbox? Right, <laughs> <laughs> then go. You laugh, right? I see? do laugh. See I how, do laugh. See how, yeah. If you have an Xbox, you you should have at least bought into the PlayStation Four already. You had to have realized <laughs> that you have nothing to play. Oh, <laughs> right, that's I, not I true. Know. That's You're cold. Right. That's cold. You're right. I take that back. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna go down and list a couple of the things, and you tell me if you're interested in these. First off, of course, PlayStation Four one terabyte console with Spider Man. It's gonna be for one hundred ninety nine dollars. I'll be completely down on that. That's I will sounds good. Yeah. PlayStation Four and Xbox One controllers uh, will be available for thirty nine ninety nine. I think I might pick one up because my two controllers are acting the hell. Really? <laughs> well. Acting up in the sense that they don't hold charge anymore. Oh, wow. <laughs> they don't charge. <laughs> like, I'll play a four-hour session, uh, and I have to switch already. controllers. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, son of a bitch. You it, know it, it is time. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> not holding a charge, guys. I'm telling you. Uh, uh, don't you wish you had some double-A batteries to put in? I do it. not, because that's <laughs> way more expensive. No, uh, it's not. Yes, it is. Batteries it is. are the most expensive version power yeah. that you can ever have. So. Yeah, actually, it's true. Nint- yeah. The Nintendo Switch Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Bundle for two ninety nine. There you go. Now there's there's a, a bun- bundle. Yeah, there's a bundle. Although if it had like Odyssey, I would probably be a little more interested in. <laughs> you, can, you you will get Odyssey anyway, yeah, sir. The, I know. And but, so if it, that. but if it comes with the console, you know, it just makes it a lot easier to do. I'm what is it? Oh, oh. So you were saying it would be a must buy. If he, if it's with a, when are you gonna get a switch, Mister Martin? No, dude, I don't know. <laughs> I want one. Nick has one now. Wait, and, what? And, yeah, Nick has one. He, Why just, is it that in your household the, he has the cool stuff and the, you don't? <laughs> Hey, I have a fucking PlayStation 4. I got cool shit. Oh, that's right. <laughs> shit, anyway. <laughs> How is it that he has a Switch and you don't? Uh, the, uh, well, we got it for him. And it was like, <laughs> damn, damn, man. Yeah, there you go. That's what we do. It was his birthday. And so. He got he got a Switch and Soul Calibur 6. The, yeah, well, Soul, are, Soul Calibur 6 what, came, what from, you, his, came what, from his friend. Though. Why don't you adopt me? <laughs> oh, he has friends also that give a game? Yeah, they gave him a game, yeah. Oh, shit. I mean, doing? damn. Sucks to be Nick, I guess. <laughs> yeah, wow. evidently. Man. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 on PlayStation 4 and Xbox for $45. I'm not even sure. Of that. Call of Duty 4? That may 4? actually be still overpriced. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's there's oh, no single player in there. Just saying, guys. Oh, by the way, I, I did I, I did try playing a little bit more Call of Duty. Uh, the, uh, the, 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 black, the Blackout or whatever. Yeah. 
I can't get a single fucking kill on it. It's because you suck, bro. <laughs> I suck. Actually, I, I, I laugh I at you, but suck. I would be pretty much the same. Way. I need to play that game with other people. If by myself, it's just it's True. not fun. You got to go as a team. Yeah, absolutely. I need to go as a team. Yeah. List of thirty-five dollar games. You ready for this? Thirty-five dollar games. Yeah. So... Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Oh, on there you One, go. Yes. Well, that's great. Because then you get the bundle, uh, the bundle with the XP doubler, and you have <laughs> and you only pay forty five, and you have the complete game. Yes, that, as awesome. It was meant to be played. You know what? That is only an Xbox One, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> oh well. damn it! Soul Calibur Six on PlayStation Four for thirty five dollars, sir. Oh, just throwing that out there. I want to dip my <laughs> balls just, in it. Uh, they think there's already enough balls in there. So <laughs> NHL nineteen for PlayStation Four for any uh, hockey fans. See if these on Xbox One, although it's ten bucks on. <laughs> On Game Pass, if you have Game Pass, <laughs> Forza Horizon Four on Xbox One, that also thirty five dollars. That is that is a must have. Yeah, We Happy Few on Xbox One is also going to be uh, thirty five dollars. Yeah, hmm. so that's actually not a bad list of games at thirty five bucks. There, the Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I don't that's a must Odyssey. there, right there. At thirty five, well, you, no, I'm saying at thirty five plus, plus the there was a thing that makes the game whatever. I'm like, you know what? Maybe it's not so bad. Except that, that you're encouraging yes, uh, you Ubisoft, you so you, are, you shouldn't. Yeah. So, you, yeah, probably, ignore that one. You're probably right. Ignore that. Get, right. get Origins. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. Assassin's Creed Origins on Xbox One for $25. Oh, there you go. There you go that, yeah. Get that one. <laughs> Absolutely. God of War on PS4, 25 bucks. Oh, my God. That's a steal. <laughs> Fucking get that. Yeah. Forget about like <laughs> everything else. Spider-Man or whatever is it called. <laughs> no, get this one. Sir, Spider Man is awesome. <laughs> Spider Man is really good. Yeah, yeah, I'm no, not no. gonna lie. Yeah, but at at some point, I just had to make it. I had to make a choice, and I was like, "Oh man, this is so hard." Because I had so much fun with Spider Man. I love the story. I love the swing and everything. But God of War does more original things that Spider Spider Man is an amalgamation. Oh, it is. Oh, most definitely. Oh, absolutely. Things that I've really done, but better. Yeah. You know, I but agree, God of War is original. You know, in a lot of sense. So. I gotta give it to I gotta give it to Kratos on this one. Not to mention, who would have thought that I was gonna be considering Kratos as game of the year material after like all the other God Awards? It's like I come agree. on, one hundred percent, I agree. Yeah, so you agree couple, that couple. is God, uh, game of the year? The, God of War. I mean, it is it's definitely in the talks. A game of the year. <laughs> all <laughs> right, we'll ta- we'll have that talk soon enough. Yes, we will. <laughs> Couple other games for twenty five. We got Far Cry Five on Xbox One. Far Cry Five. Yeah, no, that game should be. That's $25. Five, that's five dollars to to perhaps. Much. That's five dollars. Call of Duty World War Two. That's last year's nah, Call of Duty PlayStation Four. Dragon Ball. Don't even. Ten dollars Z. Most. That game is good. It I've looks heard. Beautiful. That's for sure. And it looks gorgeous. Yes. Mario plus Rabbit's King- Kingdom Battle on Nintendo Switch. Twenty five. Plus Rabbit. I heard it was good until it was. And here's the one I I might actually jump in on. Twenty five dollars for Detroit Become Human, sir. Mm. Yes, I think that's the perfect buying price for that bad boy right really? there. I think probably twenty. <laughs> the, no, actually, I hear it's a very good game. I, I yeah, have not heard anything bad about that game yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, is, it is a good game. Yeah, it's a GG. It's a GG. Twenty nine ninety nine games. Uh, just I don't know why they separated this, but twenty nine ninety nine. Shadow of the Tomb Raider on PlayStation 4. There you go. <laughs> oh, Four dollars more than the previous one. That is one. probably worth. Yeah, Naruto to Baruto. I have no idea what the hell that is. <laughs> Fallout 4, Game of the Year edition on Xbox One. Fallout 4? Fallout 4, Game of the Year. Twenty nine ninety nine. I think that's a little... That's not a little uh, it, should be tw- it should be t- 20 at bucks this point, at this point. We're yeah. not saying the games are bad or anything like that. It's just... It, they they it's are a little long. It's been a little bit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I agree. Uh, basically, and, Fallout 76 is right around the corner. Why are you talking? <laughs> yes. A superior version. Yes. That's quote, unquote, superior. Oh, my Correct, God. Yeah. Super quotes. All right, and then you have your fifteen dollars games. Here's a couple of good ones here. Fifteen dollars, Wolfenstein Two, PlayStation Four. Yes, absolutely get it. And sir, this is the year that you either finish that game, <laughs> or we don't talk about sir, game of the year of any game. We, I'm throwing out the gamut. That's I, what it the is. The game is not installed anymore. No, sir, install that shit and I don't finish have space. it. Wrap it up. <laughs> no. You need you need to uninstall Destiny. I can't. It is uninstalled. Then, then. <laughs> Install this one and just I don't wrap that shit up. I you don't need have to. Space for it. I'm sorry, guys. Oh my god, I cannot believe it. <laughs> they watch your ending on YouTube. The what? The ending. Watch it on YouTube. No, I won't do that. No. Also, <laughs> now you don't want. So why? Because You're not I, will, play I will probably eventually do it. I mean, <laughs> you know. Just... <laughs> do we need to have ga- game of the year conversations? We, we this to... game needs to be in. The... Well, wait, hold on. Hold uh, on. that's last year, bro. That's last year. <laughs> 
and it was and goal. it was not even on our game of the year list. You oh, I mean, think it was on our list, but it didn't make the top three. You so. made the top three because you didn't finish it. That has oh. nothing to do. <laughs> Come on, now. that game has a great ending, bro. Doom on PlayStation Four also fifteen bucks. Oh, get that. Shit. That is yeah. probably although I got steal. I got that I, I double dip on it because I had it on PC already, and then I saw it at twenty five bucks on PlayStation Four. Fifteen. And got it. You pay overpay. So now fifty. <laughs> well, that was a couple months ago. Yeah. Come on, like sure. last last year. Now it's fifteen. Fucking get it. Yeah. Like now. Yeah, that is a must buy. Uh, the Evil went within two. Uh, PlayStation Four also fifteen dollars. I heard good things, but nah. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is at fifteen bucks. Nah. Because <laughs> it's, 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 they just need you're playing some, Fortnite already. They're moving units of this or one. Call of Duty. Uh, Overwatch on PlayStation Four oh, because. There you go. Yeah, fifteen bucks. And Star bucks Wars Overwatch for real? Yeah, fifteen dollars. Oh, wow. I would have. I would have. This is all 30. Target, by the way, guys. Target, mm-hmm. Black Friday Target deals. Okay. And then finally, Star Wars Battlefront two for, on Xbox One <laughs> for five bucks or for fifteen dollars. <laughs> oh hell no! Oh hell no! Yes, yes. they didn't put fifteen dollars on Battlefront Battlefront two. They did. No. So That's too those are a couple of deals there. I, honestly. Some good pickups from what I can tell there. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I agree. That is actually, again, I get it. Yes, we don't want to encourage. Yeah. <laughs> but just saying. You know? <laughs> I mean, well, what if they uh, have the coin doubler for $5 on Black Friday? <laughs> <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> That's 40 bucks. <laughs> there you for go. For the game that works well. You will get it. Exactly. For the complete version. I'm just saying. I mean, why No, not? thank you. <laughs> But seriously, guys, God of War, $25. If you oh, don't freaking have that's that's, that's that. a good one. And then, hell yeah, Doom and Wolfenstein 2, $15. Oh, man. All right. So so there are obviously uh, some, some, some GGs over oh, here. Oh, some GGs. Yeah. Now, nothing on this list, mm-hmm. and maybe we should talk about what Black Friday really means nowadays, if anything. Mm-hmm. Nothing on this list. Jumps out to me to say, "Oh, this is not something that I could have gotten on any other week's flash sale." You know, PlayStation flash sale. There's some on this or... list that no, you're not going to see uh, uh, God of War at twenty five dollars on a flash sale, even on PlayStation for some time. Uh, that's hands down not happening. Uh, hands down, oh, not happening. It, no, offici- I'm not saying it, you're officially, wrong. it officially lowered to thirty nine ninety nine. I think a couple weeks ago. Officially can, lowered. You're not going to find it lower than that except for this right here. So, I can see even PSN actually doing. Do not it. this week. Not this. Not uh, this I week. guarantee you. Not this. Uh, this month. I don't know. I will watch that and then we'll we'll report back. Yeah. But the the reason I bring it up is because mm-hmm. I almost feels like like with this services we're obviously getting good deals. Almost week, well, not literally weekly, but almost once a month, almost with the flash sales and the, and the Xbox yes, sales. Yes, it's actually been actually having a little more often. I'm it's like, happening oh, a lot. Yeah, yeah. And Steam, forget it. I mean, they they just had the Halloween uh, uh, deals. I mean, I, I bought House Party for four dollars <laughs> from from fifteen dollars. It's I amazing said, that you're still bringing this up. <laughs> hey, <laughs> just it was a deal, wasn't it? <laughs> Evidently, or maybe I will repay. Who knows? What, what, what struck me as well is that a lot of these stores have this quote unquote doorbuster deal oh, yeah. where in reality they sound more like, well, we're going to inflate the regular price of this or, or hold on. We're going to say that the MSRP on this TV, let's say it's a TV. We're going to say the MSRP is $1,000 mm-hmm. because the factory will sell it at $1,000. If you buy directly from the from factory, them, let's yeah. say. Which right? is what the right? MSRP is, yeah. But in reality, it has never been at the MSRP because it, the, like the deal price is actually the normal price of $700 on any store, right? That That's what usually happens. And then and then they try to make it sound like, oh, but you can get the, the $700 TV for $650. And you're saving the MSRP is actually a thousand dollars, so you're saving all this money when in reality you're saving fifty bucks. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like nowadays, but you can call those out. I mean, you, I mean but I, I, I'm, I'm, I can call them out from a lot of venues, including Amazon, to the point where last last uh, Black Friday mm-hmm. I got nothing. Like there was, and I, I have money saved for it. I did get something. 
I got I got that's where I got um Nick's PlayStation Four from. On Black we Friday, we played. We paid with game. I think it came with a game, one hundred fifty bucks for a PlayStation Four with for a, a game. One hundred fifty bucks. Yep. How long of a of a line did you have to make for that? And did you have to camp for it? The no, we, <laughs> we're not camping. <laughs> However, we did. We were on the line. Uh, the line started outside. Oh, it was a GameStop because it was a GameStop uh, uh, deal. It started outside, and I, th- I thought we got there early enough. We got there probably about an hour beforehand because it was at the GameStop near the house, and there's never uh-huh. that big a deal. So, But, no, I had a line. And yeah. then we got there, and then, of course, even when it opened, it mm-hmm. took a good, I'd say a good 50 minutes to an hour for us to get to the front and order what we wanted to order. Jesus, so. Wow. That was quite so line. Well, that's, because I'm that's saying, nothing compared to a lot of the places. Oh no, I know. Mm-hmm. But a PlayStation Four with a game mm-hmm. at a hundred and fifty dollars sounds outstanding. Sounds like something that GameStop will not do. It, it, this is a new unit, of course. Jesus I don't buy Christ. used, though. So. Jesus Christ! That's not uh, not saying anything about people who buy used. Hey, buy whatever you want. But I personally don't buy used. That's especially uh, uh, e- electronics of any kind. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just, I, I just don't. It just, my mind doesn't work that way. If if something happens, I will or always happened. think that yeah. it just because I bought it used. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, no, we got him. It was a new console, and it was a slim model, by the way. It wasn't the the, but it was a terabyte, the terabyte yeah. slim. You know what I mean? So that's amazing. Like the yeah, yeah. So that's the price of a free because <laughs> one hundred fifty bucks. If you're factoring in that it has a game, then that's like almost saying it cost me ninety bucks. Correct. You know. That's, yeah, that's that's, that's an amazing that deal. And, but you, I mean, there weren't many, and I think if how I, the if hell I, did you got one then? Well, because we were online, and the but guy, how far? The, the guy literally came down the line asking, "What is it that you? What is it you need? Because uh-huh. I need to know if you can." Because he was like, he was trying to be honest, like, yeah. "Hey, I, I'm going to be honest here. with you. If you have people up front behind you, they're going to do it. You're not going to have any by the time you get right. it." So. If that's what you're here for and you want it and you don't not learn anything else, you that's might as good. well, yeah. So he did that and it literally stopped with like, I'd say it was about a good five or six people behind us uh-huh. where they finally got to the point like, sorry, yeah. and, and you, by the time you get to the front, you're not gonna, we're not going to have any more. Uh, so we wow. made it, you know, into it. So, and I want to say, I want to say there was a good maybe 30 people in front of me. It wasn't a long line, but it took a while because it was a lot of whatever they were doing. So, wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's a good point because I was wondering if Black Friday have already died and it's just a marketing speak for just selling crap, which it, on the mo- on most of, yeah. mm-hmm. of retailers, it, it is. Mm-hmm. Like, just look at Amazon, Amazon for Black Friday and, and Cyber Monday because, of course, there's the Cyber Monday. Let's not forget. Of course. It was just like going to the flea market. Mm-hmm. It was just plethora of garbage that you will never need or buy especially on amazon my yeah. god it's yeah. just a bunch of just on the, like, and don't get me wrong there's for me personally it uh, is there are people out there like oh that's a perfect you know what I mean? because whatever they happen to be looking for that but a pink toothbrush yeah that is electronic exactly and, and it, it had Bluetooth. lights up yeah exactly yeah i was it looking for music. an rpg yeah. <laughs> toothbrush yeah exactly so yeah i i hear you um but when it comes to uh gaming and stuff like that it's I think there are good deals. The problem is, to really get the good ones, you really got to go out. It's a truth. Mm. There's a reason why people go and camp or mm. go early and go. There's a reason for it because those deals are there. And we only did it for this one thing. Years before, we have not done uh, Black Friday deals. But I was mm. like, you know what? He wants the console. This is the best deal we can get. Let's try to be there for it. And mm. we were there. And my, my uh, his cousin, uh, Krista, actually mm. was there as well. And she was a few spaces ahead of us. Also known yeah. as Shadow. 24/7. Shadow 24-7, yeah. Was there a few spaces ahead of us. And, and she, she got one. The Well, she was there with her brother. And her brother was one of those buying. Oh, okay, so. got you. But yeah, so it was, yeah. So those, so they, so they do have. You do it. have right. good deals, and literally you have to be. Like, Cyber Monday really is not that big a deal. No. It really, really isn't. No. Uh, yeah, you'll get a couple of good things here and there, but they're few and far between, and usually not something you really want. No. But that they Black already Friday have deal, they have, and we did it on Thanksgiving. Yeah, of course. That's on when, Thanksgiving that's when is when we went. Yeah, yeah. Now that's even the worst. I'm like, 
what the hell? It's Thanksgiving, guys. <laughs> Thanksgiving. You know what I mean? And you're out there trying to. It's 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 bad stuff. It's, but, yeah. Especially the stores that open around. You know, the like time five. that people should yeah. be having people be should together. Be, and, and I feel bad for those people because again, yeah. they were there. They had to work that that particular day. Yeah, yeah, with, yeah it's, it's really good. No, I was wondering because I do need. I need to. I need to replace my the the, the TV in the in the uh, living room. Mm-hmm. That I I need to replace that. That thing is outdated. That thing was stolen at one point and recouped. Oh wow! It just like the image looks bad. Mm-hmm. It, it's I'm not happy with it. And my wife is a big movie enthusiast, mm-hmm. so I want her to get a nice a TV. Yeah, 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 she, yeah. She she is. Uh, unfortunately, the best TV is right in the in, in the office room uh, where we're recording, and I use it for solely gaming. for gaming. Yeah. I don't use it for anything else. I don't watch movies on it. I don't, it, and and it has the better sound system of, of it because uh, I have a sound bar. But I don't, unfortunately, like I've tried to watch something here, but it's just it's not comfortable just to sit yeah, back no, and definitely. Really, I, this is meant I'm gonna be playing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so so anyway, so I was thinking of 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 looking at, it, but then I thought, man, this is just fake. This is all just. No, Nonsense no, it's not. Anymore. It is out there, and and I mean, the problem is, it's getting earlier. You know, mm-hmm. it used to be you had to get there five o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. Now it's get there five On o'clock the second of the day before. Yeah, and it's like, <laughs> what the hell? So it, it, they are out there, and the, those are the best deals. They are the best deals, and that's why people go. It's the truth. If, mm-hmm. if it wasn't the best deals, nobody would go. It's, well, like, it's a hands it, down. Well, that's that's my question. Yeah, because. It used to be the big deal, but are they still yes, now? It you is. know, I, I it definitely now. is. Because it most definitely, you especially, a couple of games we... especially on TVs uh-huh. uh, and stuff like that's the only time you're gonna get. Yes, you'll get a deal on Cyber Monday, maybe throughout the weekend as well. Mm. Not the same deal the person got when they walked into the store at whatever time in the morning. Mm. Those guys got it. That an amazing deal. Yeah, you know what I mean. And it's just like, and they're throwing stuff in with it. It's ridiculous. Do they really just saying, hey, if you do this, tell you what. Give you this TV, you buy this here, we'll you throw this on top of the whatever. What this is what they do. Yeah, this is what they do. Uh, and but again, dude, is, it, is that that is it? Because let's say three thousand dollar TV MSRP, and they're selling it for nine hundred ninety nine dollars. You're thinking, holy shit, that's an amazing deal. It's two thousand dollars off. Yeah, but in reality, they were selling this TV. It was never three thousand dollars. The MSRP. They will always have. They always yeah, had so a deal was, at fifteen hundred dollars. Correct. You're so just you're, spending five hundred dollars less. Which I mean, I was just yeah. I, realistically though, that is a deal. That's still yeah. That's yeah, a very good deal. deal. You know, like five hundred or less for a yes. It's a valued at three hundred uh, three thousand mm-hmm. dollars. It's been on sale at many uh, many a times. It's probably at since it's, release day. It's, since it's, release day, I'm gee, talking about it, possibly, but it's yeah. probably more at. A thousand ninety nine ninety nine mm. for the majority of the year, and every so often it dips down to fifteen hundred, and then yeah. it goes back up, and then dips down to fifteen hundred. But it probably steadies out at one eighty nine with an MSRP of two thousand, mm. uh, three thousand, right? And then on this day, we're going to give it to you at nine hundred bucks for that day. You got to be at the store to pick it up. You got to. There's none of this. And hey, there's order only online. None three of that available. Correct. There's three yeah, that's available. The so that's the whole deal. Yeah. And that's the that's the that's the reason why people go. Yeah. <laughs> if if it do, if those deals didn't exist, people wouldn't do this. People <laughs> would do. I I swear to God, as we were going ah. to the GameStop that day, right across the street there's a Target, and there's a line <laughs> all around the Target. <laughs> and they had I don't even know if they had opened up, but it's a super line, dude. Uh-huh. A super line. I'm like. I can't. I can't with. I get it. I get. I get why people do this because yes, you're gonna get the good shit. Yeah. But I just can't do, it. especially no. on Thanksgiving. No, fuck that. I'm gonna be no. with family. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I told back Friday deals, guys. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're, they're real. <laughs> they do happen. You just have to be one of the three people in the, front. Yeah. If you're four on the line, forget it. Just go home. <laughs> Honestly, I, I am looking at this this Target stuff, and I'm like, there's a couple of games. I just don't know if I would be that. You know what I mean? I don't know if I would go and stand on that line for that deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but if I get a few of them, that's a whole different story. If it was online. No, see, that's the thing. You're not gonna get it. Happen. You're not gonna get it online for that price. They don't. They don't happen. Physical, believe it or not, is for whatever reason drops. Yeah. Like the the price of the physical drop because they need the physical units are literally taking up space. Yeah, they're taking up you know space. I mean? They need they're to like, clear the space. We need yeah. to clear the space of this stuff, and they're just like, fuck it. 12 bucks, you know, <laughs> just take it. Just get it out of here, you know yeah. what I mean? So that's the reason why, man. 
Are you looking forward to uh, getting any games in particular? I, I, I'm not sure if I, will, I don't need to stand online for a particular game because uh, like no. most of them I, I own say, already. I would say the list I gave you guys, and and you know we'll bring up some of the lists mm. eventually. But the list I gave you guys, if it's just one game you're interested in, mm. it's not worth it. However, no. to go there, w- pay eighty bucks, walk out with three, four games, that would be worth. That would, it. That that would be worth it. I'll, it it's, yeah, and we're talking Especially about. If, Recent games, yeah, yeah. Uh, a a new, a new TV, I will consider if I see that deal that it's awesome and it's legitimate, I could consider it just because, and I've never done it, just because I need I need to. There was one time that I went for a Zelda uh, the special edition DS. Mm-hmm. They had it available. I was ready to take it, and as as I was walking towards getting it, I was like. Wait, I don't need this. This is, I, I mean, yeah, it, it's it's a little bit cheaper because I think it was like one hundred twenty dollars from one hundred fifty. Uh, that's back in the oh, day when yeah, yeah. when they were more expensive. Or I might be wrong on the numbers, but it was it, it it was a little bit of a deal. But I was like, I don't need this right now. I'm buying it just because it's a deal and it's a special edition. But in reality. I don't think I even want it. <laughs> like, who cares? It's, and I just turned back, got in my car, and went back. And it was on a Target also. So, so uh, Target, I'm telling for you. For this one, yeah. They know how to Target you. They know how to Target you. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yes. And, and we have a Best Buy, like, next yeah, next uh, next door almost here in Colonial. Yeah, that's right. I'm thinking, well, if they have some good deals on a, on a good TV. And I've seen them, like, they will, they will pack the store with a bunch of, they will stack them up. Mm-hmm. You know, but then I'm thinking like, okay, this that the ones that are in uh, you know the deals are like brands that you're like, well, is this really you know is this really what I'm looking for? You know, if if I'm looking for let's say a Sony whatever or an LG whatever, you know, I'm not and I'm not getting that. Am I gonna get this oblivious brand let's say that is three hundred dollars? You know, 4K, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, ish, and th- fake HDR. Yeah, <laughs> there's a couple of brands you kind of want to steer from. However, there is a couple of brands, unknown brands, maybe lower end brands that are at their value. Yes, you may not know them, but these are va- these are these you're getting Port great TV? TVs. Uh-huh. They last. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna last you. Mm. They're just not the name brand that you're aware of. You no. know what I mean? Because uh, the name brand, the name brand might not be. The big deal here, but it's the big deal in correct, exactly China or, or Korea. Korea. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and because of that, it's great. And they, the TVs run exactly exactly where they should. You know, yeah. what is a one hundred twenty hertz and all this, and and you know, four K and, and HDR and all this, HDR. all the stuff that you need. Yeah. And oh, it's uh, whatever. I can't think of a. I, I'm trying to think of a name that that because we've gotten a few. I, I, there's one with an H. I'm trying to remember. Oh, let me see if I can yeah. find it. Uh, can it's find called. It. Heisen? Uh, hi, 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 Hennessy? No. Uh, <laughs> TV, TV brands list 2018. They are, let me see. Hi, Hisense. Hisense. There you yeah. go. Hisense. Oh, TLC. This TV is like TCL. Sorry. TLC. TLC. <laughs> this TV is evidently yeah. they're are very now. great. Yeah. 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 And yeah. So you have Hisense, you have Skyworth. Uh, you you I've got your Panasonic. Of... Yeah, I'm saying you have these are all brands that you're gonna run into when you go yeah. in there, and you you're getting a quality product. You're just not aware that it's yeah. a quality product. You've never heard of it before. Yeah. So don't be afraid of these. St- look them up. Yeah. Just look them up. You're gonna find uh, the information, and that's what I want to do. I need to upgrade the TV in my in my living room. It's yeah. it's a t- it's a 1080p has no uh no uh, HDR. Yeah. <laughs> it is an dude. It's now that to be fair. It has that you've seen the TV. It has lasted. I've been in my house now six years. Mm. I bought. Uh, I was excuse me. The TV was uh, bought for me before I moved to my house. So oh. it's about seven years old, roughly now. Yeah, still works. However, I'm well aware that the line is. You know the the red line is coming. It's right <laughs> around the corner. At any day now, it's going to shut off. I would need to avoid <laughs> the that. downtime. I, yeah, I need to just exactly. I need to be prepared and just get in this up. So I have been in the market for some TVs, and there's some really good ones out there, dude. And look at these prices. I mean, yes, that's a 55 inch, but 298 sharp, 55 inch. I yeah. mean, a 4K smart TV. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? However, you got to be there. 
Yeah. Or, you got to be there. 6 p.m. Thursday. This is a, <laughs> this is a Walmart uh, 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 flyer we're looking at here. On Thanksgiving? On Thanksgiving Day. And oh, that's the whole deal. It's it. like, are you going to do that? Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. At that point, I'm going to be with family. Day. Yeah, at that point. I can explain to my family that, no, I can't see. I got to go get this TV. I mean, it's going to be, you know. Oh, they go with you. <laughs> they, yeah, they probably would, actually. Family will stuck together. <laughs> yes, They exactly. go with you, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, well, I believe that brings us to the end of an awesome episode 132, the real episode 132. Thank you so much for tuning in. Holy crap, it's two hours and 46 minutes. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> looking at that like, oh, we haven't looked at the time yet. Thank you so much for sticking with us <laughs> for this time. Uh, please, as always, go to goodgame.tech. Please join the conversation there. And please like, subscribe, and share the podcast with everybody. Uh, this is Mad Dog signing off for this week, Mr. Santos. Uh, I am not ashamed of having played House Party. I think it's Game of the Year contender. I think you should be ashamed. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> just going to throw that out there. Eight hours, bro. Uh, that's even worse. Eight you're not, you're hours. Not, you're not helping your case here, bro. Eight hours to tell you that this game has something special. Oh, and it was man. not the movie. <laughs> even though the next... The next iteration of the patch says, "Oh, we we got better, <laughs> better uh, skin physics and pores and like oh, things God. that's like Jesus. Wow! <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> With that, we end this episode, We're and better. we'll see you next week. GG. <laughs>